Are you all excited for another amazing episode of Rot Grind? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we, wait, we were meant to scream. <laughs> yeah, it's, the bit's gone. Oh, it's bit's just gone. a big rectangle on Audacity. <laughs> <laughs> When your waveform looks like a solid wall, it's time to start all over again. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think the audience is really going to appreciate it, actually. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Better. Chat screen for us already. Welcome back, everybody, to another amazing episode of Rock Grind. I want to introduce you to the amazing players that bring you this show where we play Pathfinder 2nd Edition and we suffer along in it. Starting off with Oda Roshi. Hi, hello. Uh, I'm Odo. Uh, I am going to be playing uh, Vina, the sylph swashbuckler, the artist formerly known as Bali. Uh, and uh, my 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 veggie tail Sona is spinach. Uh, just if oh, the, you even care. Oh, this is, is our it, bit, is it? Okay. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it like boiled yeah. or is it like the? Plant? We're in. I'm gonna go for a walk around the block. I'll see you guys later. Okay. <laughs> Next up, uh, we have the ever stalwart Hokey Crow. That is me. I am Hokey Crow. Today, I will be playing the ever resolute and always chaotic Rohua, the cleric, the Kanwasu cleric. And my VeggieTales Sona is a Romanesco broccoli because I am fractal, turgid, and constantly spiraling in on myself. Of course, next that's, up. that's a lot of good verbs. Yeah. Had the or adjectives. I've never had a Romanesco. I wonder if it Shut tastes up. good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks around. Is it clear? We're good. Are we good? I'm, I'm about to hold We're a good. gun to you. Get on with it. The one holding the gun to me is Arendelle. I, uh, I've got a gun. Uh, no, I'm going to put that down now. Uh, yeah, I'm playing as uh, Baldrick Weathers, the alchemist, and... Uh, I'm looking forward to continuing this stuff and not the Veggie Tales discussion, but knowing that Speaker is going to come up with something to say after this to countermand me, as he always does. I look at him. I I point at him. There's the one he is looking at. <laughs> is he ever is the ever mystified Speaker D? Hi guys, I'm Speaker D. I'm the original Veggie Tales fan. I love all Veggie Tales media, uh, all the all the books, the comics. Uh, I know all of the lore. I know everything about Veggie Tales, and I will be playing um, Tanhauser, who is this is less important, but he is a Magus. He's an android. He's a revolutionary. You know all about him. But what's more important is that if I were a Veggie Tale, I believe that I would be an artichoke. Thank you. And of course, we everyone. have our ever illusionary game master, the one who will make us all suffer, Thurston Hillman. Illusionary, like I'm not real. <laughs> you're I not, mean, you're I... not, you're not. <laughs> Get out. Okay, I, well, I really love that or Zoran never introduces himself. It's very funny. No one ever knows what you're playing. No one ever asks who I am. True. I have to do it myself. Why, why do I have to? Who are you, Zoran? Wait a second. Who are you? Like, so here's always the weird thing. I've actually had people like, um, like message me and stuff going, Zoran, why don't you just let them introduce themselves? And you just have to tell them, well, there's an order. And also since we're online doing stuff, there's lag. And then sometimes people forget their order. So it gets disjointed. So that's why I do it. And I mostly go like, mostly go for Odo, Hulky, Arendelle, Speaker, because you're in the order of the overlay that we have on Twitch and stuff. And then I skip me and go to Thurston because I go last because I then either fill people in on what's going on after and all that stuff. So it's kind of weird to go, I'm this, then it's Thurston, then it goes back to me. So it just makes it more natural just to be like, I do this. And here's all the updates of what's been happening, you know, or like give people oh, notice. So and things. To hear you twice. He's got a good point. And we yeah. still don't know what your veggie tail is. Also, wait, if you end yeah, on Thur <laughs> wait, no, Zorin, if you end on Thurston, then that just means he can get right into telling us what we're doing. Yeah, but sometimes people need to know what's what. What's what. You know, any updates or tell people going like, hey, they could watch on Twitch or there's podcast stuff. There's tons of people who will watch to like episode 30 something and go, I never knew there was a podcast, even though we mentioned it like 50 times. It's a huge, it's a weird thing. <laughs> have to keep saying it. Coral's people will not listen. <laughs> Guys. There's a podcast. Oh, I'll fucking choke you. I'll hang you like that by daylight. <laughs> Anyway, Thurston's here to make us suffer. Hi, Thurston. 
I sorry, I've just been falling into the deep hole of Veggie Tales. Stop like he, reaging, uh, Veggie Tales. All right, all right, the uh, bit's over. Really? I'm officially Th- Thurston. I'm officially tired of it. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Thurston. I'm GMing. Fun game today. Oh, fucking Yay. hit. I'm gonna, I'm All gonna carve it. you like a <laughs> we're, we're really on it today, we, guys. We, we've yeah, on, yeah you're on two. it all right. I You're on it all right. On my fucking nerves. <laughs> I, my my Nurgle team is not doing fucking well right now. I'm taking an emotional beating. Had a lot of star players been fucking killed or taken out. I'm just trying to get over when some shit right now. Let's we'll get into this. <laughs> is that your well, trauma today? Finally fucking afforded a rot spot for my team. His name was the bold figure, and then he fucking got a niggling injury and like the first goddamn. Anyways, hi. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna Thank die. You for the soundboard. <laughs> now we're copyright struck. Now we're going. Now Beetlejuice has all of our money. Anyway, I'm Zoran the Bear. I play Orin the Strix Druid, and uh, I am your I am your host. I, I'm your host for this evening. Um, basically, as an update, we are ba- if you are new to the streams and stuff, we do highly encourage you to come over to the live streams if you're watching this on YouTube. But of course, Twitch is here. People on live can can mess with us, do funny stuff by donating bits. They increase our bit bars. That's the bars down below. To help us get hero points and all sorts of stuff. But remember, just like as Odo did remember, we do have a podcast, obviously YouTube channel, all that types of stuff. If you're watching the YouTube channel and stuff or going on our website, narrativedeclaration.com, you'll find everything, Patreon stuff, campaign assets, art, all that stuff to help out the show. But Thurston, what adventure do you have for us today? Well, I was going to ask, who wants to recap last session? Get a fancy hero point. Uh... Odo and Hulky don't have any. It would be good for you two to do it, maybe. Or, Wait, hold know. on. We've already done it. I thought we were going down the list. I was voluntold last time. <laughs> so- Wait, I was too. I didn't do a good fucking job. I didn't All get right, I got it. I'm job on the ball then. I'll hero take point. an extra hero it. point. <laughs> Thurston, are you Yeah, ready? Bogart the hero points. Bring it on, Baldrick Weathers. <laughs> All right. So what happened last time was we had received an invitation from a delightful gilded skeleton he came up to the door like he's like hey hey, you want to come to they didn't say anything but he came up to us and offered us the invitation to the party there was a large party being held by some rather prestigious individuals in regards to uh uh, what was the name of the uh i'm sorry names are the part where i fall apart who was the uh the person who invited us again thurston i remember the rough like what's the word I are, are, are you talking rank. about Sandal Deckland? The no, he's I was the guy talking throwing it. Yeah, he's uh, okay, it. okay, okay. Oh, you. Oh, um, I see, I see, I see. You're looking for the uh, the Chamberlain's name. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. thank you. Uh, yeah. So in this instance, let me just pull up my my things here. Um, as I, you know. Yeah, you got to get those visual aids ready so they know what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Gotta, I gotta pull it up here because it's. I'll I'll it's get in, to Sandal. Don't prior, worry. It's I, in a prior session. I'm pulling it up. I'm pulling I it up. I always love when I, I I try to get like like some music kind of go in the background, like very minor, you know, this thing. As you guys are like, where the yeah. fuck's this shit? Thurston, I'm just hearing oh, no, no. <laughs> like all these horns are now blaring. I'm like, Adventure. Chamberlain in Naffy, and there you go. Oh, no. Yes, Chamberlain and Naffy. We were, we Naffy invited us to a soiree where a number of interesting individuals would be at. And so we we strove to look our best. We went out and acquired some rather foppish and dandy clothes to arrive at the gala with. And uh, upon arriving, we uh, first we came across our good friend and compatriot who I can't seem to find. Where's the where's our friends list? Where's our friends list? Please tell me. Opens up. <laughs> Your, your friends list. Oh yeah, Dina Neeson. Yes. We, we came across her in a side room chatting with an older woman who did not fucking like us at all because old women don't like us. We're, we're too young, as you know. And we, uh, we proceeded to enter into the party after which we all fanned out about the room to try and get an idea of what exactly the purpose of all of this was and what we could learn about, well, anyone here because we also found our good friend the uh oh the 
guild, the Tyrant's Guild person, whose name escapes me because this was several weeks ago already. Who is who would give us the rank again, Thurston? Infilium Vader. There you go. Vader? Darth Vader? Vader. Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader. You're fighting Darth Vader. No. Yeah. Infilium Vader was the the ranking individual from the Tyrant's Guild. Yeah, they're here and they are inspecting a delightful statue. Uh, that was actually a piece of equipment taken from the Perfectite Siege Tower out in the swamps of the Solitude, which we helped Dita Neeson find, and now it's likely irking Rahua to no end that they're just kind of sitting around the room. We also met uh, a particularly fascinating an individual named after a shoe, Sandal Deckland. And, uh... He's pretty something. He's a large man. He's a little lecherous. So naturally, Odo gravitated towards this guy here, who who was introduced to us as indicated on the object here as Punchable Man. It's a very, very good use of it. Uh, and we've just been kind of schmoozing and introducing ourselves around the room to various people. The party split up at this point. We're just kind of mingling and not trying to grab too much attention. And we basically left off in the midst of that as we were taking part in uh, conversation by combat or combat by conversation because you're having us go about this in turns and making checks. Mm -hmm. And it's been uh, really great. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm talking to this dude, Moral Pam. More hell, Pam. And it's, it's, he's uh, very interesting. And he is definitely someone I would talk to in my spare time, Thurston. Also, also... Uh, Dankwart's here. He's playing the piano for some reason. He's just there. We'll see you in a minute. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I don't remember every individual person, regrettably. The great Punkle Tompt? Punkle Compt? Ponsel Tompt? Punkle Compt. He, he was the, uh, the, the snake oil salesman. Oh, yeah. The snake oilsman who, uh, oh, who got put on him? That was Tannhauser, wasn't it? Yes. Yep. Tannhauser gets to talk to a man that he definitely wants to talk to as well. Everyone gets to talk to people they want to talk to. It's yes! Really Pop up in a cold one. <laughs> Popping up in a cold one with the great Ponsel Compt. Yeah, Rahua went over to talk to the Infilium. Vali went, or excuse me, Vina went over to go talk to uh, Sandal Deckland. I'm talking to Morel Pam. And Tannhauser is talking to uh, Ponkel Compt. And Oren is just kind of satelliting around and looking around, and he caught a glimpse of... Yeah, exactly. He caught a glimpse of the Hegemon through a uh, through a crack in the doorway, or I guess through a sighting through a nearby alcove. And so we're kind of piecing together that, well, at least Oren is, that maybe something's a little up here. But we'll have to get to that, because that's roughly where we left off last time, I believe, Correct. Absolutely. You may uh, bestow upon Baldric an extra hero quest. Thank you for the help with the names. The names are really where I fall flat. I remember roughly what we were doing and all that. It's just the names. The names, Jimmy. I'm names. right there with you, dude. I'm trying to cut off all these handout cards as it's like... <laughs> I feel like a detective going, all right, we got rid of these... Shuffling, yeah. Where we specifically left off last session was each of you had sort of come back to the entrance and were having a little, a little, a little gathering, a little discussion time uh, to decide your next moves. And that mm. is where we're going to start today. Orin looks at everyone. I want to murder. All okay. right, you're going to have to be more specific. No, uh, we're not. We're not doing that right now at all. Now, so be quiet. Can we do it later? Shh. Oh. There's never an opportunity that to murder someone that has it coming that we shouldn't at least consider. Now then, before we get talking about that, let's talk about what intelligence we've been able to gather so far. Right. Well, in terms of uh, Sandal, our, our good our good friend over there on the couch. I haven't been able to glean a ton, but I can tell exactly what his weak points are. 
I can tell he's definitely perhaps a bit undo, uh, a, a, a bit too proud of his connections to things that are a bit shady. And with the right prodding, I think he'll spill everything. Do we have any idea what in particular he's connected to? From the way I understand it, uh, given what the Infilium, or not the Infilium, the, the Chamberlain told us, he's going to have something to do with the stuff that the Medic's Guild was doing out in the swamp. Mm, indeed. That's the same information I got from Ponsel Comte, who himself seems to be a grifter of some description. He has access to... No doubt some snake oil that he's been peddling off as a miracle. I intend to deal with him later. For now, it seems the fat man is more worthy of our attentions. Did anyone else obtain information? Uh, Baldrick will kind of nod his assent. Yeah, I was talking to the fellow over at the bar over there. Uh, more help, Pam? More help, Pam? Uh, apparently, he's also the head of the uh, Farmer's Guild, I believe, right? And I'm, I'm looking to Thurston for this one. That's what the name is, right? Yeah. The Farmer's Guild. Yes. Gotcha. So he's a, he's the leader of the Farmer's Guild. And naturally, he's a little bit more well-to-do than a lot of this, but, I mean, couldn't really guess that from how he's carrying himself. But regardless, uh, he seems to have an inkling about who was throwing this party, which is specifically, you know, Sandal. He's going to just kind of waggle a finger over it. Uh, Sandal Declan. What First, kind of... remind me again, what did I pick up last time? Because again, we it's been a while since we did this. Um. Yeah, okay. So you had spoken with Morhel and learned a little bit uh particularly uh you learned that sandals kind of like the heir apparent uh to the declan family uh his parents had passed away in some event and so he is set to inherit from his uh, grandfather um and his grandfather is kind of like shacked up in in the the family manner um that that was kind of the the, the little bits and bobs you'd been able to piece together from talking to more hell Pam just a bit. So yeah, he's the uh heir apparent to the Declan fortune. So doesn't doesn't surprise me he's a Nepo baby. He has the uh the heir about him. Mm, Morrell had some uh well it's rumors mostly, but he's seemed convinced that his inheritance was not exactly naturally timed. Thinks he, uh, took care of his parents? Mm, supposedly. Just a rumor. Not like Wouldn't it really much matters me. in this case. That's mostly just rumors. Well, I think with the right bit of flattery and the right buttons to push, I might be able to get him to brag about some crimes that shouldn't come out. He doesn't seem to be all that discreet about it. So then, what's our next step? We have the Butcher's Guild on one hand, we have a Grifter on the other, and then we have someone with information we actually care to know in the presence of a member of the Tyrant's Guild. We need to find out where this connection with the Medic's Guild goes, where to strike. Where to find what we have been tasked with finding. Seems to me the best person to talk to in that regard would be Sandal. Hmm. Is there any chance we could get him alone? Doubtful. He is he surrounded by a bunch of sycophants. Doesn't seem keen on leaving that couch. What if the party was ruined? Ruined? What's your yes. idea? Well, we obviously can't pull out our swords and start massacring the rich and wealthy. No, no, no. We're not far enough in the revolution for that. But what we can do is make it to where the party seems 
stale. Everyone will be forced to move to another location, and into the intervening chaos, we can take our prize. That is assuming we can't coax out the words with some well-placed manipulations, but I would say that if rotten meat started drifting through the air vents, or perhaps all of the alcohol suddenly went off at once. Something awkward and embarrassing that socialites would care about. Like murder. Well, no, not like murder. Yeah, yeah. Well, like we murder. might. Yeah. We might have a. <laughs> I did learn something important, and we might actually have a sycophant who, who may be in line with killing everybody here. Oh wait, really? That's way better than my plan. Yeah, I and Rahua will very obviously turn around to point at Enfilium Vadir. Yeah, they they said they wanted to kill everybody in the room. Oh. Okay. Well, that's probably more of a metaphor than a direct uh, declaration of intent. I don't. I mean, they are going to mind. kill everybody overtly, but they they were pretty clear about what they wanted to do. All right, I'm going to cut you off there, Rahua. I don't really want to work with the Tyrant's Guild, even a sycophant like that, on any level. So mm. that's a, that's a kibosh on that. We can think of something else. I agree with that. The Tyrant's Guild are useful to manipulate, but I do not want to be their pawn. Oh, also, they know exactly who we are. Well, that's yes. That's surprising. I would be insulted if they didn't. Mm. Regardless. Uh, hang on. I think I might have an idea. You mentioned ways of making a party sound stale and boring, right? That's right. Without making it obvious that it's us that did it. No, no, no. See, I got an idea. He's going to point over at uh, the individual playing the piano. I think. Hey, Thurston. Could I possibly yes. make a knowledge check of some kind to know if there's a tune that nobility might find distasteful that can be played on the piano? Oh, yeah, there's like, you can give me a society check for that. That would be appropriate. I will give it oh a shot. God. Here's the first roll of the day, folks. Give me a yeah. They're playing Wonderwall. Pretty decent. 27. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very much Wonderwall. Absolutely. <laughs> you you want to get, you want to wing something or should I make it up? After you, <laughs> you can you can you can come up with some awful thing that the nobility despises here, Baldrick. All right. So I was actually I've, I've drifted in the circles around here long enough, especially been in college long enough to know that there's a particular tune that causes some nobles to chafe. It was played a uh, long while ago. Uh, it's history books nonsense, but it's a well-known tune. Uh. Arcade juggling act. You can play it on the piano like that one, but uh, suffice it to say, it was played at a great many beheadings. Uh, well, what's not to like about that? Well, if you're a noble, it's probably not uh, probably a bad reminder. If you wanted, I could try and get their attention like a distraction or something, and then you could probably go up to him playing the keyboard up there, and then. I don't know, bribe him or convince him, make give him a change to his uh, his work. See if he knows anything about Arcad's juggling act. This, I imagine that'll make them a bit uncomfy. This is not a bad idea. An Orin. Yeah? You can transform into animals. Yeah. <laughs> He's now scared. Have you ever... I grab him by the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Have you ever transformed <laughs> into a skunk? Uh, uh, a couple times. Why don't you find a way to crawl into these air vents, crawl above this party, turn into a skunk, and then... I don't know what it is. Skunks just shit just everywhere. Bad. Jesus Christ. No! <laughs> skunks don't shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goo everywhere. Got it. Yes, yes. Musk everywhere. I don't think that's the term. 
The goo. Huh. Watch out for the goo. <laughs> Whoopsie doo, here comes the goo. Not the Google Lab. How do skunks? <laughs> it's a spray. It. How do you it's call spray. a skunk smell? Bad. Arnold <laughs> <laughs> uh, will look, look at Dan Howard and go, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, can I roll a perception check to see if there are any vents around as he's like looking left and right to find anything? Yeah, sure. Give me a perception check. Excellent. With a plus 16, I roll the dice. It tumbles and bones, and that's not nice. 28. Oh, hold on. It's bone power fast. 28. Okay. So there aren't, like, there's some, like, ventilation holes, but, like, there, there's not, like, duct work in the city. So, like, you don't have any kind of, like, immediate diehard uh, vents or whatnot. But, like, there's places to maneuver through some of the walls. Any of them skunk sized? I Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, he looks at Tanhouse going, you're going to have to throw me to one of them. I take a look and I realize that we are surrounded by curtains. Yes. Is there any chance you could crawl amongst the curtains? <laughs> I'm going to have to make so many athletic checks. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I can uh, haste you if it will help. <laughs> I can haste me too. I'll still die. Oh yeah, the orange will look around and, go, and he looks at Tanhauser like super serious, like he was finally given a purpose in life, like a secret agent mission. He goes, "Got it, Mister Tanhauser. I'll stink I'm up the place." Me. All right, I believe in you. Now give me one moment. Come with me, Orin. The rest of you. Find people to endear yourselves with. Once this happens and the party disintegrates, what's our next move? Well, well the next... We, you know, the we next kidnap was... Sandal Declan. No. Well, we at the very Sandal least... Sandal Declan. Shut no, up. No, at the very least, we need to get him on his own and we need to get him to confess to what is going on with the Medics Guild. I think that we can start prodding him, start inflating his ego... And I think that enough people gassing him up can get him to brag about the things that he's done, at the very least, enough to say, bring back the information to the, the Chamberlain. Yes, but we'll need to make sure he doesn't rest control of the party once we scatter it. I look at Baldric. Baldric! What? You make disgusting concoctions all the time! <sighs> Thanks. Perhaps you could poison his drink make him feel ill. Then, when the smell infiltrates the place, he might vomit, throw up, become more visibly sick. At that point, he will likely attempt to excuse himself for certain from festivities, rather than attempt to party hard while his entire body convulses in endless and fall Or kind of like calms him down That might be overkill. That might be overkill. At the theater, you really should have seen it. <clears throat> yes, well, something perhaps less extreme than that. But you understand, yes? I think that bad music and a bit of a stink will be more than enough to send a bunch of nobles on their way. Mm, very well. Now then, while our two operatives engage with their actions, what shall us three be doing? Well... One, I think we should have eyes on uh, the hegemon. It doesn't sit well with me that he's here and that he's not socializing. And, I don't know, frankly, the guy gives me the willies. Oh, yes. You'll have to be dealt with in time, no doubt. And I think that at least whichever... W whoever of us are the best at talking... Uh, this is Vina's way of saying, is anybody here trained in any sort of diplomacy? Anyone? I'm trained in terror tactics. Or only has a plus one to diplomacy. <laughs> I got my plus anybody? 11 and plus one. Anybody? I, say, I, say, I, think, I think regrettably that is you. Hold it's on. just me. It's okay. just you. It's just me. Well, if anybody would like to assist with whatever social skills the rest of this group can manage to scrape together. Have any of you ever spoken to people? 
just in I, general? Have you of heard course me? I've spoken to people. I've spoken with people previously, but they're mostly very mean patrons. Ah. Uh, well, food service that, will do that. Oh, food service is hell. Don't ever work it. Do not worry, Vina. I, Tannhauser, will help you in this social encounter. I'm just imagining Tannhauser <laughs> salivating through his mouthpiece. <laughs> You know what, Tanny? That's a great thought. We're gonna put a pin in that one. Maybe you should go and check out what the hegemon is doing. I, I would trust nobody else to particularly um, a a deal with a man like that. Uh, 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 the small one's doing something. He points over to Where is he going? He's, he's wazing to us. <laughs> Threateningly. <laughs> Zigzagging. One second. <clears throat> Ponsel Comte, what is it that you require? Uh, oh, hi, hi, hi there. <laughs> I just stood up for a bit. I was doing a lot of talking. You know, I just had a little, little drinky poo, and I think it went a bit through me. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Yeah, clear the, clear the way. We're kind of in the door. Wait, I want to roll insight on this guy. Insight's From, not a skill. Yeah, well, we I want to. I want to roll the thing where I figure out if he's hiding something. Perception. Perception. <laughs> Excellent. You see, and we I, got there. I, we're, 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 I just gotta find. My, how how is it that I have lost perception? My God, there it is. Uh, clean your eyes. There yeah. you go. Ah, oh. with a natural two, there's no doubt I've discovered all the secrets. <laughs> Uncle Cobb staggers by and seems to depart out the front. Well, that was weird. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Anyway. I'm going to walk, uh, like, look side to side. Who was serving his drinks? Did anyone see? Did I see from my There's previous uh, encounter? Um... Encounter. Who was, who was handing him his drinks? Counter. Because I, counter. Because I was talking. I'm going to stop talking like this. Because I was talking to Ponzo Um. <laughs> uh, you saw that he had some there. You you didn't see who, who exactly was serving them. If anything, it's probably came from like the the bartender. Like she's been going out back and forth a bit. I'm just going to march over to the Ponzo Comp table. Give me a moment. I have a hunch. Huh? I'm going to walk over to Ponzo Comp's table. Hello, friends. Hello. Don't Hello. Talk. And I'm I... going to reach down and I'm going to grab his drink that he was drinking, assuming it's still here. Okay. Um, you can see that there is a like mostly completed glass of sparkling <laughs> liquid. Ponsel Comp asked me to make sure that he's just shut up, you all weak. And I'm going to leave. What? And I'm going to. <laughs> he has uh, exceptional charisma. It's true. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to come back. Oh, he has such a way with words. Who here Doesn't can he tell just... me if this is poisoned? I can do that. All right, Baldrick is going to use his immense power. Uh. Thurston, what am I doing? Are we doing a crafting? Yeah, cra crafting is appropriate here. Uh, or medicine, sorry. either or. Uh, what would I? What would I get a bonus from this with? Should I use alchemical savant? Or uh, I would allow that. Yeah, I'd, I'd allow that. I think that okay, should be fine. Go, great. Still a twenty-three. Um, yeah. So, um, you. You take an action to sort of look it over, uh, identifying it. Um, you are able to identify that it is like a particularly hard liquor. Um, like someone poured this guy a triple, basically. Hmm. Uh, but there's no poison in it. Uh, Mexican do a better job, but unfortunately it's not really poisoned. It's just exceptionally strong. Damn. So you're saying this won't kill someone? Uh, enough of it might, but no. All right. I walk over to this table. Oh, I found a free drink for you. 
and then I walk back. Oh, it's not a table, it's just a crate. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is a display piece. You just put it on <laughs> the <laughs> art. <laughs> yeah, I just pours it Oh no, Tannhauser's dissociating. Pours it into the crate. I just, I just put this drink here. I've got a free drink for you. And then I go back to talking over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Why is that tyrant's guardsman here then, if they hate this so much? Social obligation, more than likely. All right. I believe they're here keeping order, but also it does not seem like they want to be here. Based upon my conversations with them, uh, they're rather not fond of the assemblage of nobles here, yet they recognize the importance of keeping order. There's more to it, but I don't feel as it's exactly relevant to the situation at hand. Regrettably, even though they are a bunch of bastards, they do still have an outward-facing obligation to not look quite as monstrous as you'd think. Very well. To fail at that. Well, at this juncture, I say we fan out. Vina, do you want my assistance in dealing with Sandal, or would you prefer Rahua's? You know, oh, I almost doesn't Rahua look like Chris Redfield right now? Yeah. Okay. Chris yeah, Redfield. and that Chris, case, Chris Redwood. Hold on. <laughs> True. Chris Redwood. Um. In that case, I think you're probably better served elsewhere, Tanny. You're right. I will go talk to the tyrants' guardsman. Perhaps I can get more information about the him, the the him, him, the him, the him. He's the having high, a stroke. The, <laughs> the press the, on! I press the reset <laughs> button <laughs> on his chest. Does Tan Hazard just usually shout when we're trying to be quiet? No. He's updating. The, the three I'm, people I'm... by the cube has probably heard everything by now. And just been like, oh, God, it's the we'll terrorist have, we'll again. We'll have to kill them. We'll have to kill them all. No, I, presumably we've been silent, save for the two times where Tan Hazer has shouted, which has mostly been because I got tongue-tied. <laughs> uh, Baldrick is going to pet. So who's who's going to Sandal? That's Tannhauser and Vina? No, Vina and Rahua. Okay. Yep. Uh, Baldrick is going to pat Tannhauser on the shoulder and say, All right, so I can make a distraction and probably get their attention if you want to go convince the uh, piano player to play, you know, the juggling act. Oh, I thought that you were going to do that. Well, I kind of can't. You don't want it tied to us, right? The best thing to do for that is to do it when they're not looking, and I can more easily distract than I think, well, you can. Mm. So you're saying I should intimidate that small feline person behind the piano? Or Pam, whichever one. Mm. So you're saying I should intimidate them? <laughs> I'm saying do what you're going to do, just don't leave a trail. Very good will be done um all righty then so uh i will um you know i did notice these fellas left yeah this door has been open and i'm presuming we have not been stealthy or quiet about anything so we're probably hosed now but hey that's life i i presumed we were being quiet up until the two times where i screamed something uh, yeah, we can't we we can't exactly stage whisper to one another uh, in the call, but I'm assuming that the the crew is trying to be subtle. Yeah, we're not like complete brain dead numbskulls. Uh, All is there the time. anything is there anything you would prefer us to roll to ensure that we kept uh, a relative like um, silence as to what we've been getting together and muttering? Thurston. Hmm. Hmm. Stealth. All right. So we're all rolling stealths? Mm-hmm. Hey, Thurston. Mm-hmm. Uh, hang on a second. I've got a thing for this, I think. Yes. Hey. So I have a question. I have an answer, maybe. I Possibly. have the I have the feet quiet allies. Oh, that's Ooh. that's that seems when very are, appropriate. When you are for, avoiding uh, notice and your allies yes. follow the expert. You and those allies can roll a single stealth check using the lowest modifier instead of rolling separately. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Now that'll okay. mean that whoever has the worst stealth is going to be rolling for us. Oh. 
Orin's got, got a fourteen. I've got a four. Uh, I've got a fourteen as well. I, I also have a one. All right. Well, so odds are the only person who would probably be standing out would be him anyway. Eight. So okay. While you are following the expert, which is the exploration activity, which this would be exploration mode, oh, you match mind. your tactic or similar... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Um, you match the, their tactic or attempt similar checks. Thanks to your allies' assistance, you can add your level as a proficiency bonus. So, oh. Rahua, okay. you can add your level to the check as well. So, it you would be. effectively follow Baldrick. And then you would get your terrible bonus, but he effectively counts you as being trained. So, nice. Gotcha. So, so you'll be actually rolling mm. at a plus nine instead of a Not plus. Not bad. Nine. Not bad at yeah, all. There you go. There you go. Do we okay. want to do that or do we want to wing it with the stealth? Because odds are probably I... in the best for the best that we only get one roll because mm -hmm. uh, I, I've, I imagine it's a situation to where only one of us needs to fail to completely fuck it up. Yep. And uh, if we just have one person fail, even if it's the weakest person uh, that can hero point that, it's just less chances to roll in that one. Now I want to ask, am I rolling that for Rahua? Or is Rahua he rolling it rolls himself? it. Rahua Damn it, because he doesn't yeah. have... Oh, he, never mind, he just got one. Nice. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I love you. All right. Uh, if I, if you want to smoke stick? Will we get? It? No, that'll be <laughs> distracting and large. Don't do that. All right, Rahua, give us a D twenty plus nine, I guess. Uh, okay, here we go. Be prepared to reroll in case it's. Uh, uh, well, tell them what you well, rolled. Tell them what you rolled. I rolled a three on the die with a plus nine for twelve. No. So, would you like a... to hero quest that, sir? <laughs> I. I think and I should hero quest that. I think I'm going to uh, take, I'm gonna take, think we should take a sip of you this. Have, you have a ten percent chance. <laughs> you have a ten percent chance to roll worse, so that's mm. fine. Oh, you but know? you know my odds. My uh, my dice rolls are buns. Mm. So never oh tell God. them the odds. Never mm. tell me the odds. Let's hero point it and accept mm. the consequences. I took a sip. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Hey! Yay! That's significantly yeah. That's really good. For a 28 in total. Let's go! I just imagine that the stealth is represented by occasionally when Tannhauser like, gets animated, Rahua just turns and goes, shh. shh. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Thurston, there's our, there's our collective stealth roll. Ooh, that was a pretty good use of a cool feat, everybody. See, Yay! steel feats are pretty useful when you need them to be. <laughs> I took uh, it, I took it for a reason. Now I we'll never use that it that for thirty yeah. more episodes. I appreciate <laughs> that, that steel feat is literally I don't trust my companions, which is the most baldric of feats imaginable. <laughs> it really is. It is. I I fucking. Door when skill feats work that way. Uh, yeah, no, you've uh, you, somehow, despite everything, you have managed to keep everything on the DL. Thank God. We are so powerful. We'll see how long it stays that way. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't call me out like that. Don't call me out like that. All right. No, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we, we got our game plan. We've got uh, Baldrick's on Catboy duty. Uh, me and Rahua are going to talk to uh, Sandals. Uh, Orin is going to go skunk mode and is probably going to wait for the queue to make the room stinky. What's the queue? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Just do it in. What would be, minutes. hang on, uh, if you're, so the queue should probably be something that doesn't mean anything to anyone else, obviously. So maybe just like, Pickles. Baldrick, clear your throat three times, and that is when Orin will know when to go. Mm -hmm. Well, because we're distracted, me and Tannhauser are coordinating to get the fucking oh. distraction on our end. I have an or idea, just scratch the top of your helmet. That's true. That's something that uh, probably wouldn't be noticed, but is just just obvious enough. Sure. Why not? Sure. Who who cares? It'll probably work out just fine. Well, don't say it like that. It always does. 
We're so good at our job. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see if we can put that to the test then, yeah? Cat, I'm worried. Hold me. <laughs> I need to go to the little druid's room. He leaves uh, to yep. go turn into a skunk. <laughs> Or <laughs> notices that the door to the artifacts is open. Is that intentional? Yes. Yes, it is. It's like, or it comes back. He goes to Vina. Vina. Uh-huh. The treasure room's open. Shit, is anything missing? Not yet. Hold on. I'm going to lean out uh, and a peek into the treasure room. Uh, is anybody in there? No one is currently in there that you can see. Uh, is there any, like, weirdness? Do, do I notice anything missing? We had kind of gotten a peek into the room, so I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, if, if somebody stole, like, a trinket, I wouldn't notice. But if you, somebody stole, you, like, a statue. You see, like, a, a, a very ornate, um, what almost appears to be, like, a... A communion, like a, the equivalent of like a communion bowl, um, but like a very like ornate basin of uh, representing the first house and the, the sort of core pantheon of Outset and the wider Perdomen continent. There's like a bust in there that's marble. It has like the face of this like stern man and it's got like a plating on it. And then there are several like closed chests of uh, goods and equipment in here that have just been sort of left here for inspection. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I don't notice anything out of the ordinary, or do you want me to give you a perception? If you want to go in there and start perceiving, you absolutely can. All right, well, I don't want to get too distracted, because I'm on, I'm on, I'm on sandals duty. Uh, but yeah, I'll just give it a look-see. Sure. My perception is okay. Ooh, all right, natural That's 20, 20, I'll give you that one. The Yay! door slams shut on you as ah! you, uh... <laughs> As the the face of the bust turns to you and begins staring. So uh, you come here often? I mean, I will save. I genuinely can't believe we've already fucking failed. <laughs> I, I genuinely that's that is a record for us. Greed is laid low. Many a good hero earned ill, and we will be no different. <sighs> Checking something. Oh, I, I can't I was, wait. I can't wait my to develop the to get hit with the rot gaze. I'm about to die again, bro. Oh, great! Now that one's Ooh. bad. That's a, you got a hero a point, though. Oh, you got a hero point if you're if you're hero point curious today. Uh, God, the natural twenty into the immediate dick punch. Thank you, Thurston. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely noticing the weird shit that's happening in here. Good job. Thank you. Okay. I'll hero point that. Hero quest. All right. Oh. Oh. That's better. That's a 29. <laughs> okay. Um, You feel as though this is like some kind of mental effect that's just like clawing at the edge of your skull. You you don't feel that the um, the bust has any kind of like magical power. There's something else going on here. Um, you feel like the, the best way to, to resolve this is just like if you go and touch the bust, like you'll prove that it's not like this weird fucking magic-y hocus pocus stuff and that'll ground you in reality. Yeah, I gave it. A, I gave it a little experimental touch, just, mm -hmm. just barely. And I'm gonna look around the d beyond the door slamming behind me. What? My natural twenty, uh, per perchance net me. It, it, it sort of, of noticed the like the 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 ambiance. It 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 sort of gave you this sense like one of the crates here, um, had something that like triggered like the edge of one of the crates where it's sort of been um, nailed down. Like you feel these like almost tendrils of darkness seeping out. Um, but then they sort of manifested in in the distraction that was the um, the bust. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll meander on over to the boxes. I want you to give me three acrobatics checks. Three? Yes. Okay. Uh, first one. Uh, well, even with a two on the die, that's a twenty-one. That's cool. Okay. 
Second one. Another two. An again? <laughs> A 21. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Fucking Christ. And a okay. 28. <laughs> Have you ever seen that, like, Simpsons episode with Sideshow Bob and the Rakes? Um, you kind of have a, a similar situation as you start walking, and every step you feel something, but you're, like, so... You're so compelled to go to this, to this box and figure out what's in it. Um, and, and, like, after a moment, you realize that, like, your, your boots have been somewhat cut up. What the fuck? Um, and that you, uh, now have, um, some persistent bleed damage. Oh, damn it. As you realize and look down that the floor here has been scattered with caltrops. I didn't notice the caltrops? No, uh, you didn't. The natural 20? <laughs> Correct. What? <laughs> Are yep. they invisible? Um, you notice that you've been, like, so absolutely intent on, like, the the reality warping in here. You can also tell that, like, this could have been way effing worse, but your perception kept it so that, like, you weren't directly stepping on them. Like, you're taking one point of persistent bleed. If you had, like, not been as, as alert as you were, you might have taken a lot more damage from just like willy-nilly stepping in here and not being as, as alert as you are. But the thing that you do notice now that you like take stock of these is you've seen these caltrops before. Fair enough. Where have I seen these? In your feet. They're often well, beyond in my feet. by a member of your party. What? what? Yeah. Who's always you've, you've, throwing you've, you've seen these used against various foes throughout this campaign, including at one point, and it sticks in your, your memory, a tree. I don't actually, were you there for the tree? You might not have been there for the I tree. I was not there for the tree. That's right. So, okay, you've seen caltrops before, but not, not a tree. <laughs> because do you know Tannhauser? loves to use caltrops. Tanny, did you drop your fucking caltrops? As you turn to the door that is currently closed. Or I'm like, uh, well, I would like to come out to the door. No, I was yes. and I try to open it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it opens immediately. Uh, and Vena, what point, are you doing like, in here? You see like caltrops scattered on the floor. Vina's there. Vina, what uh, are you doing? <laughs> There's some bullshit happening in this room. Yeah, you're bleeding and stepping and everything. Just get out of here. Uh, Tanny, did you drop your goddamn caltrops? Where did he go? Uh, I presumably when the door slammed, we would have been alerted, right? Yeah. Okay. And you would see like Orin sort of like rushing yeah. towards. What's going on? Are these your caltrops? I look at them. I mean, it's impossible for me to tell, but I didn't lay any caltrops. Your caltrops are missing. Oh, someone stole my caltrops. Huh. Oh. Um, so with Vali's nat 20, would she be able to tell if anything had been recently moved or stolen? Like anything that had been like resting here that maybe would have made any like imprints or like. Well, we did see that the box was fucked up. Yeah. Um. So. So. Um. I. I like that you're you're asking on behalf of a of a natural twenty of another player. I appreciate I, I, this level I mean, of teamwork. I. I just <laughs> figure that it would have been revealed. Revealed. Um. What you notice is that there were some things you remember standing atop some of these barrels in the corner of the room, uh, particularly like some fine, like little gemstones that are now missing. Fucking Ponsel Compt. Ah, yes. Somebody go get that bastard. I think if we manage to tell our good friend Sandal that Ponsel Compt's been fucking stealing from him, he'll tell us everything. Ow, my feet. That is a good point. Let us go. Still want me to stink up the place? Uh, hold off on that, but keep it in the back of your mind. Okay. Right. Now um, that's that's definitely our, our next order of business. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll take Vina, and I guess we'll go speak to Mister Sandal himself. Um, okay. 
All right, I guess I'm taking Orin to go talk to that guy then. Yeah, we gotta go get Ponsel comped. In well, fact, we might want to go confront him first before we go to uh, uh, Sandal. Uh, he on- is <laughs> he's not in the accessible place right now. He's on the... Uh... Oh, he came back. Where did he go? What? He, uh, he, 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 he left. Elsewhere. I, I, I saw him like wander toward the balcony. Yeah, he's not here right now. Oh. Yeah, he, we'd have to go find him. Uh, the entire point of doing all of this is to get Sandal alone. But if we can get Sandal alone by convincing him that he has been stolen from, and then convincing him that we can help him find the thief which we probably can because we have enough physical evidence that we are not the thieves, um, then that defeats the purpose of even fucking with the party in the first place. <laughs> so, so what you're telling me is we just got undercut and there's no reason to do any of what we just did. <laughs> I think so, Well, yeah. we'll keep it in our back pocket. Keep it in our back pocket. Uh, it's plan C. The G- it's plan C. The GM introducing events to, to shake up events. Oh, my God. He's so mean. Ruining our plans. <laughs> Mister, do you yes. want me to be annoyed at you? Because that's a good way to do that. <laughs> well, no. You can be annoyed at me for another reason. Because today, I learned that the first episode of Veggie Tales. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, Alright, we're going on a break. See you next time. Let's go talk, Bowser. Let's go. Alright. Is there going to point to it? Well, we'll find out. And, I mean, again, there's a fair chance, given our history of charisma roles, that uh, we will go talk to Sandal and then uh, not accomplish our goal. And so then we will probably have to resort to funny shenanigans like skunk time. Exactly. Yeah, go talk to him. Yeah, so I think the the order of business should be uh, myself and Rahua go to Sandal. Uh, mm-hmm. Everybody else try to find Ponsel Compt. All right, I'll be on the lookout. Um, yeah. I, I will start marching after uh, this tiny gnome. And somebody please help my poor aching feeties. Oh, I can help with Rahua that. Rahua use magic. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I can help with that. Orin goes into a potted plant, just reaches in to like the dirt and fertilizer. Oh, oh, wonderful! And stuff, why why and are just, there worms in a potted plant? That's disturbing. And uh, <laughs> you know, you know, helps keep it alive. And um, maybe just, uh, you just start muds it up a little bit. Going here, you go Vina. He comes out with open uh, hands. And, uh, oh, 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 Orin, Orin, Orin. We are we are literally at a rich people party. Please put your muddy hands away. Oh, sorry. He wipes it on the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I think I can help you out with that, but uh, bear with me here. Rahua will bring his hand down to Vina's achy, <laughs> achy, hurdy foot, and he will shoot out a, a black inky tendril of star stuff, and I will just try and perform a medicine check on her. Thank That's what I was doing. It. Yeah, but you were doing it with mud. I'm doing it with, like, weird space shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aww. It's okay, Oren. I I usually love your fun, muddy shenanigans. It's just, but between you and me, we are we are the two different tiers of those misleading mobile game ads, where you're starting <laughs> off at like Street Thug, and I'm like CEO here. <laughs> I'm level one thug. You're hundred level hundred mob boss. I get it. But if you take my gold out of my briefcase, I become a level zero thug. <laughs> mm, that is true. Yeah, we didn't account for that. You would be wise to join my gang. <laughs> Fucking seven. 21. Oh, boy. The That's success. Oh, we're on Let's it. Let's go. <laughs> you managed to heal the one hit point that Vina was missing. <laughs> Yay. Yippee. Oh, good. So, uh, what's going on here? As you all Anarchy turn. Rush. Okay, yeah. Sweet. No. Roll the attack roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, so sorry about that. Uh, there seems to be... Uh, I ran into some trouble with my boots. I'm gonna, like, uh, exaggeratedly pout and show where my, my poor aching... What happened to my poor feeties? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Fucking hell. No. Sorry, Thurston, no. I, just, I feel like I've been flashbanged. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, 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 no. You flashbang me. You're like, oh, my poor boot. And I'm going to show him. How the fuck do you show this to him? Oh, I just let, I just gesture down. You gesture down to the Veggie Tales bandage on your foot. <laughs> Presumably there is. Like, well, you said it fucked up my boots and stuff. Yeah. On the boot. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, like, so yeah, you're you like it lifting up it up. Boot. Like, like, look at the bottom of my boot. It has a hole in it. Is that what you're going for? No, chat. Sandal is not a feet man. Leave that the fuck alone right now. I, um, I got You guys I, I gotta knew gotta where you were going with this. I unironically did not. Okay. Anyway. Y'all need Jesus. <laughs> I'm canceling the show. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement with you, Zoran. We've gone far enough. All right, we're playing Fallout now. We had it. Yeah, okay. Sorry, we had guys. It. <laughs> Foot grind is over. We had a okay. good run. All right, I, I, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a step back there. I'm gonna. I'm okay. gonna rewind a little bit, so we all get our giggles. <laughs> <out. laughs> and I'm just going to say. Oh my gosh, I think there's been a problem. I saw that the door was open to the to the, the room with all the artifacts in them, and I saw Ponsel Compt running off. Oh. Okay. What's the problem? Well, I think that some jewels have been stolen. Okay. What's the problem? What? <laughs> you don't care? But he what stole are, from just you. Jewels. But I mean, it's because they're your, your they're your jewels. How dare he do that to you? Hey, give me a deception check. I I will gladly, gladly. Deceive. I will gladly deceive. Um. Oh God. Does does lie to me apply here? Lie as naturally as you backflip. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has to be nouveau rich. There is no way someone that was old money would ever be like able to let go of someone stealing a single dollar from them. Rude. <laughs> he kill goes them. up and is like, <laughs> "Why? Why?" This guy's Trump rich, not oh my child rich. God. All right, that's old a twenty-one. Money would go hammer on his law on them. Yeah. Okay. I need to refresh this goddamn page. Why can't uh, I You roll? might need to refresh your mind. Sandal Declan comes swaggering towards you, Vina. Places an arm around your, uh, your shoulder. And it's like, listen here. I can be generous. I'm a generous man. And uh, a couple gemstones, they don't mean a thing to me. You know, I put this on so people could come here and have a good time. Like the children. And he pats Oren on the head with his other hand. The children? <laughs> Can I roll a fart or will save to not growl? Absolutely. Like, like, a, a, like, a, like a cryptid kid well, in the I, forest. I apologize to everyone. <laughs> I give you so many trigger warnings of how fucking awful this no, person is. No, that's fine. We're, we're playing it out. <laughs> This is perfect. <laughs> Good. He's literally a teenager. I'm li I'm I'm literally three years old. It's like I roll a why twenty-seven. Do I, why do I care? Yep. So don't worry about it, babe. It's if people want to take take some money here, that's okay. I got a lot to spare. Have I mentioned I'm building an airship? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're, like, so generous. That's really kind of you. Yeah, no, I'm pretty kind. His arm comes off. Uh, also, I've been standing for a while. I'm going back to my couch. Oh, okay. Well, thanks so much. He doesn't care. He doesn't care? What the fuck? Nothing important was stolen. I mean, I, I gave the place a pretty thorough look over. I would like to roll a perception check. To basically kind of yep. gather what exactly he super cares about, which I would imagine would be his image and his reputation. He wants people to fawn over him, I'm imagining. So mm -hmm. I would Perception like... check. I mostly established that. See where I can really get him. I rolled a 29. Um, So this is like an art exhibit, right? Yeah. Like these are all fancy things that he's showing off. Um. What Oren gets is that he wants to add to his um, 
metaphorical art exhibit, and he has found a new piece in uh, Vina. Uh, 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 I cannot wait to fucking electrocute this man to death. Or um, oh, sorry. Uh, Oren no, no, picks up on this, and he'll go like, Vina. Yeah. I have something horrible to suggest to you. But we, but we have <sighs> your back. Play it on me. It's like, if we want to get this guy alone, we could probably try. You could probably try to encourage him a little bit. We'll follow along with you, or so. And then when he's alone, we could like crash through the windows or something, or like crash through his door, and then we'll we'll have him where we got him. Is it still too late for you to become a skunk? I would love to. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Thurston, I got a quick question. Yep. While this is going, can I prepare a, a dosage of belladonna? Yes, you absolutely can prepare some poison. Oh, it's for me. Uh, it, Baldrick is just like standing around, just casually putting some stuff together, and he's going to just like call Vino over just by like beckoning with like two fingers like, hey. Yep. Yo. Uh, so shall I? Am I just using crafting a, check? I, yeah, I'm just... like I, 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 I'm gonna like bypass the regular crafting rules because this is narratively amazing. <laughs> ah, again with that, but it's a twenty-two. Is that you fine? got a point? You got a hair point. I'm asking you, is that fine? It's not going to be enough to make it in the time you desire to make it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna redo that with a hero point. Hero point. That's much better. That's a six. Yeah, you're able to like, like put together ingredients very quickly. You've got this, and it's you're just about finished as the time as you see someone like walking with purpose towards your group, and it's Morhel Palm, the um, the dwarf head of the of the farmers guild. Uh, as as he's approaching, Baldrick is going to put the finishing touches on the the thing, I presume, and he's going to stuff it quickly into his coat pocket. And he's passing by the, the rest of your, your companions, and it's just sort of like, Baldrick. Where's Baldrick? Right Oral. there. Oral. He's right next to us. He, like, walks past you, stands through the hall, stares, um, sorry, walks, walks past, yeah, stares right up to you, looks into, like, the visor of your bucket, raises a hand and points directly at you ten feet away. Baldrick. Shots. Shots? Points to the bar. Shots. Baldrick will sigh. All right. Sure. Why not? Morhel Palm approves. Come on. While while he's going past, again, I'm presume I, he had tried to beckon Vina over. Yep. And Baldrick is going to palm the small uh, volume of Belladonna into her inventory. Good idea. So is this is this uh, a killing amount or is this a hurts very bad amount? Should it's not going to be very nice. I'm sure he's not going to enjoy the feeling it gives him, but it's mostly just to uh, confuse and sicken him. It'll take a, about thirty minutes for it to all go off, but after ten, he should be. At least a little bit more uh, clouded. Fine. All right. Yeah, I, I feel like this is a anything. this is a bit of a Don Corneo situation. I'm gonna pocket that. Yeah, give her a give her a Belladonna. I'll, I'll, what I, I just can Belladonna possibly go wrong? This is the point where in the corner of the screen it says the GM will remember this. <laughs> uh, how do I? Can I share the Belladonna with the chat? Yeah, sure. Is that how that works? How do I do that? Yeah. Um, it's in your inventory, right? Yeah, you just clicked That's the icon. A... I did. I didn't. Yeah. Uh... Oh, it might not have like a chat. Oh, hang chat on. No, thing. I didn't. I didn't craft it. I had the. That was mm. the thing. Hang on. Let me get, there the, you go. Let me get the bobject for you. Hang on. Where's the, the bobject? The bobject. I don't want to edit the item. Yeah, I can't. I can't post it, but that's fine. If you click on the icon, it does it. And here oh, so I'm it on. It oh, yeah, there you go. Also, I yeah, I just realized I'm on private. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, belladonna. It's 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 a light poison, but it's, it's mainly a little burn. poison. It's just a little poison. Chad. It's just, just a little, a little bit. 
little poison. poison. Considering most civilians have at least 10 hit points, it's unlikely to kill them. Yo, this guy's got <laughs> one. He's got one hit point. He just explodes. Yeah. Unless he's got an immunity to it. But yeah, Baldrick's going to palm that very quickly and move past as though nothing is happening. All right. Okay, I'm going to take Rahua, and we're going to split up to go and speak to our good uh, uh, friend Sandal. Well, as as you you make your 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 way away, um, yourself and Rahua, I'll just start moving you. Um, you pass by Morhel and Baldric, and Morhel leans towards you, Baldric, and is like, "Are any of your friends cool?" <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That entirely depends on your definition of cool. It's kind of kind of boring to buy shots for two people. Who's cool? Well, regrettably, I think they're all heading off. But he's, he's gonna he's gonna feign trying to call Vina and Rahu over, but he's gonna just kind of just kind of got that raise your hand and then like curl in your fingers like eh, never mind. You get Orin drunk. Uh, he's gonna call Oren over. Oren. Huh! He's a nervous rack. He comes over. Yeah, yes, yeah, Mr. Baldrick. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Morhel pushes you out of the way, Baldrick, and mm. sits in the seat in the middle now. Great. Okay. Hey. My name's Morhel Palm! And he, like, sticks out his hand towards you. Or oh, we're very... not adding this homeless guy to our <laughs> shots roster. <laughs> or will very nervously shake his hand, going, "Hi, I'm Ar." Ah, oh, good, Oren. You got a strong grip on that arm. It's like it's made out of wood or something. He looks at his arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? <laughs> he starts sweating. He's like I'm a, uh, I'm nineteen. An excellent triple for the boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he looks over and abandons. There's like a colossal glasses, and it's just like it's legal here in Outset. You're fine. <laughs> it's forced perspective. It's like ah. drinking age in Outset is uh, like eleven. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, because as, the water's not very good. By. <laughs> oh God! Uh, wait, 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 Look wait, upon I... thy death, Orin. Don't forget the child. The the, the <laughs> yeah, exactly. The girl. I was drunk child. you fuck up. I was just about to pull out the art and be like, as evidence, bye. Oh, I don't really like Romar oh because they have this peasant child constantly <laughs> drunk. They promote child drunkenness. <laughs> Listen, we promote child preparation for work. Exactly. It's true. If this session is any crave evidence, the minds. <laughs> I just um. Tannhauser's looming in the fucking I, corner I, like Batman. I, actually, on I, my I, screen. I, oh my god. I'd like to point something out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So we all agree, right, that chasing after the gnome would be of no help to our endeavors at all. Oh no. And in fact, would just be detrimental, right? Oh no. Well, that was the last thing you guys told me to do. Yep. <laughs> and, 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 I, to do. and then you did all of this. Yep. And <laughs> I I feel like I have no choice but to continue with that mission. So is it okay? I'm going to roll this perception and see if I find the fucking no. Okay, here's the good roll. Here's the one good roll. One, two, the no. three, I four, really wanted to five. fucking fail. There you go. Show me your um, war face. As you as you move over five squares from your current position and look to the north, you see that Ponkel Compt is on the balcony, um, do like standing atop the table, uh, gesticulating wildly and like oh, uh, to a group of onlookers. Sorry, this because of your microphone and Discord, you sounded like a bee. Oh, perfect. She's just sitting on the <laughs> table going. See Froggy Locks in chat. Do we want to talk about the B movie script? Moving on. If we can't talk about our veggie sonas, we can't talk about the B-movie. Uh, that's fair. Being uh, the presence of the hegemon, meaning that I cannot do what I wanted to do, which was uh, grab him and then viciously beat him into a bloodied, pulped mass on the floor. Um, I'll just go back. <laughs> Tragically forced to be useful to the encounter now. Wow. <laughs> 
I mean, the hegemon is there. You can't, you can, uh, uh, socialize with the man who murdered us. Yeah, this it's probably not a good idea to, to engage the hegemon. I don't trust myself to do anything other than antagonize him. <laughs> and, Understandable. Um, that's not useful to our, to the mission. You want to give me a perception check, Tanhazer? Another one. Yeah, another one. Another one. And another one. Another one. one. It's, uh, okay. Uh, okay. As you are, before you like head back here, so like as you're having this like stare off at Ponkel Compt on the table, <laughs> Ten you no notices the hegemon is flipping him off and must go and engage him now. <laughs> no, the hegemon like certainly has taken note to you, and like gives oh. you a smile and a nod. I look at him. I take my thumb. I run it across my neck, and then I turn back. Okay. <laughs> well, um, Oren, you feel a little jibe in your side from uh, from Morhel kind of giving you the elbow. Uh, so I got a question. Yeah? Is the, is the metal man over there with you? Seeing like Tannhauser coming through the door, looking around, assessing the scene. It's, um... Or tries to think of a tactical way to do it, where it's like, it's like uh, obviously he's, he's seen it with us with the group. He's like, he's like, yeah, he's he's with our group. Hold on, I gotta knock at the door. He leans in towards it's you. <laughs> Is it cool? Oh, at that point. Yeah, he's pretty what? cool. Wow, did you have to roll to see if you thought Dan Houser like, was cool? I think he's really cool. Well, he's he's done so many amazing things, and he really puts his passions into a lot of stuff. and And I think he's I think he's pretty spectacular, sir. For our podcast people, I just want you to know that Zorin the Bear had to roll a d20 <laughs> to answer the question of if Dan Houser was cool or not. Is that, is that a deception check, <laughs> Oren? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. but... Don't worry about uh... it. Now, did he pass or did he succeed? <laughs> you heard Oren say. Wait, that's the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fully thought that Ignore was me. intentional. Chaos, chaos. Yes, yes, yes. All right, GM, what is my opinion of Tannhauser? Is it low or is it high? You tell me. <laughs> Roll the d20. Yes, oh, as God. the person controlling all of your characters all the time, <laughs> I have decided that Baldrick has a particularly high opinion of Tannhauser. I, I'm going to walk back. Has this guy been drinking the drink I gave him? No, no. I take no. it back. Ungrateful. And then I'm going to walk <laughs> back over here. I was about to drink that. Say, Bartender, I need another one of these. Uh, he, like, more help palm nudges you again with some. Oh, he's cool. Hey, friend. Hello there. How are you today? Good, good. We're about to do some shots. Are you in? What a shots, eh? I like the cut of your jib. Show me the gun. I need a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say, I like the cut of your jib. No. <laughs> no. no. I was just going to shoot him. <laughs> but you know what? He pulls a holdout pistol out of his boot and puts it on yeah! the table. Yeah! Run through yeah! Orin, I'll play. Rush over with party. a semi-automatic pistol. Uh, Orin moves over. Go on, like, it's I'll like, win. Like, step around for me, Mr. Tannhaus. <laughs> I get a sense that you and I are going to get along together. I reach into my coat pocket and I pull out some of my literature. I'd like you to take this home and read this and tell me if you have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pamphlet all like right a revolution oh, oh, with you oh, you're funny you think i read i have people to read for me bartender triples all around vina is the only one not drinking can everybody can everybody have a moment to pour one out for a fallen soldier <laughs> oh, yeah later we're gonna be at the party oh sorry vina i didn't know that you even like to drink i well, on the, on the note of Vina I thought you got Rua. tired of drinking Wait, after no, no, all that go alcohol. Go back to the drinking. Go back to the drinking. <laughs> yeah, about <laughs> Rua, Rua, Rua will like very subtly tug on Vina's sleeve. Vina, Vina, they're, be they're socially pressuring me into drinking. I want to feel cool too. Can I go get drunk? Can all of you leave Vina alone with this man again? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think. 
<laughs> I, I'm merely obeying the winds of fate. They want me to go drink. Rahua, far be it from me to deny anybody, anybody, the chance to go and get roaring drunk at a function where it is a little appropriate, a little inappropriate to be roaring drunk. Go. Ooh, I'm gonna feel for the first time. Rahua's I just the... imagine as you're coming towards, like Morhel's like banging on the desk, like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're all like, um, Lauren also gets into it. He's not excited. He's like, shots, 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 shots. See, if he wasn't polymorphed, I just would have had him go, tree, 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 tree. <laughs> but, but alas and alack, the road less traveled. So abandoned. Vina, you approach the gaggle surrounding Sandal Deckland, who is sprawled across the entirety of the couch a little a little sliver of stomach cleavage visible under his slightly too short shirt and his arms like <laughs> and uh, that's where we'll take our break uh, he's got oh, an ass how did we like a tray of champagne how did like, we nearby? get here again <laughs> I, would, I would like I to point out that who is the worst bar boyfriend I know like, I'm fucking worst horrible worst wingman man. 2023 alright well we'll be right back Shots, 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 punchable man all right so given that like we sort of had half of a plan and then my friends went off to go and get drunk <laughs> um i'm assuming the goal is still to try to get him alone and to try to press him for details about the medics guild and about that sort of thing yeah because if I recall from last session, and again, please correct me if I'm wrong, Thurston, it's been a hot minute. He mm -hmm. didn't give me any solid information about his connection to what's happening with the Medics Guild, correct? Very little, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we have reason to believe that he does. Mm hmm Okay, excellent. Just making sure we're on the same page. So as, as you come up to this uh, punchable man... Yeah. Uh, he currently has a, a woman fawning over him. Oh, he I is see. standing close to the arm of the sofa um, and is just like taking in every word that Sandal Declan has to say. This is like a, a younger, maybe like maybe like early latest mid-twenties woman uh, in a fine, noble accoutrement. Um, it's very stylized to be green. She has somewhat like almost like a like a dull um, reddish pink hair and she's just, she's just enjoying the company of this man. Interesting. Alright, um... Pretending as if I don't notice her, I am just going to walk up and just, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, so sorry, I got all cleaned up. Um, so what did I miss? Um, Sandal is like kind of fawning over this woman a bit, and there's like like this this brief like turn towards you and you can tell give me a perception check actually give me a perception uh, check Vina. oh that is the wrong thing why is zilly in here that's a good I, question yeah. i wish i wish zilly was here that's a good question mega man uh i'm gonna give you a 25. okay a 25 is enough to know that sandal Deckland, the punchable man noble He's having a, a crisis mm. on which woman he currently wants to give his attention to. Oh, what what a what a shame. Yeah. Um and currently he's really, really enjoying this like woman who's kind of like lackadaisically stroking his hair. Oh, Boy. petting him. Yes. Uh... <laughs> 
Boy. Does he purr like I... a walrus? <laughs> do you do you want us to just purr? <laughs> you know, just what? sitting there just, just listening. <laughs> you know, that's what he's like. <laughs> it's on the couch. It's <laughs> 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 oh well i'm an ally to women first and foremost so i gotta get her out of here i gotta get her out of here <laughs> oh god okay okay oh fuck all right what are you doing vina i look chat i gave them every warning under the sun how awful this person would be and they sent vina alone so i i i was I'm Meanwhile, really... in the background, shots, shots, yeah, shots, no, no, shots. No. She was not <laughs> sent alone. She was abandoned. <laughs> yeah, that's very. I gotta say, you didn't have to come over here. <laughs> you you could have stayed right. with Vina. You just chose to come over here. You chose. Listen, I Vina. want Rahua to drink. Rahua, Vina would never tell Rahua not to drink. Look, my original plan He's was so to... thankful for you for that. <laughs> My original plan was gonna have Fro Froggy join the call and play this NPC. You're lucky that didn't happen. See, that I would've I would have loved for Froggy to do this. Actually, Can we, we had Froggy in chat. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. How I'm gonna give this girl just a quick once over. Is she is she into this guy or is she trying to get something out of him? Because if so, I might be able to. Uh, I mean, may maybe I'll Uno reverse card him and just start hitting on her instead. <laughs> oh, that's a okay. genius fucking idea. That's that's a Actually, play. Oh no, out here cutting the Gordian knot. Jesus, that, that is the play. I think. <laughs> I mean, all right, yeah. all right. I'm yeah. Fuck it. I'm having fun with this. I'm going to uh, I'm smile glad. at <laughs> I'm going to smile at Sandal, and I'm going to I'm going to lean over to this girl and just, oh my gosh, you are so pretty. What's your name? Oh, oh, you hit me where it hurts. Um, I need a name for this NPC. That's <laughs> chat. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I need, chat. What's I need his chat. Name? Yeah, chat, come up with a good one. Or Froggy Lock in chat. Her come name up with is name. Froggy Lock. It's, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. The names. The names. <laughs> Froggy. Froggy. Froggy, yeah. <laughs> Veronica, all right. April. Her uh, name is Loggy Frock. Loggy Frock. <laughs> Loggy Frock. What? What a name. Her full uh, Loggy is a is a is a pet name. Her full name is Lagersha. Lagersha, thank you. Erndil coming in with the clutch GMing. Thank you for backup GM. Uh Erndil, uh Baldrick can have another hero point. Please add yes, that. To uh, him. Waiter, more okay. hero points, please. Yeah. <laughs> waiter, waiter, waiter. Uh, more, more narrative <laughs> fiat. Son. Waiter, waiter, more narrative fiats, please. Um, you, want to uh, type the, uh, you want to type the name in chat so you so Odo doesn't have to keep remembering it every time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah in the in the Foundry chat. Uh, yeah, how do you yeah, spell no, no, it? I got there. it. There you go. So do you whichever one. Oh, her name is Logersha. All right, Logersha. 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 Wow. Where's that name from? I've never heard anything like it. I I hate how you've er, Uno reverse card this on me. Welcome to my game, Thurston not, Hillman. Not in Utica, no, it's an Albany. Game oh, master God. the game. Game master. Have have no sympathy for our game master. <laughs> no sympathy for the devil. You set this fucker up. Now you get what you saw. Ooh, one sec. I have to I have to collect myself now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, Roshi, please, please bully Thurston into getting this character out of this conflict so that he doesn't need to generate her backstory. 
Oh no, Lagersha Frock is now in the oh. setting, everyone. Lagersha Ch Frock Ch is Ch my GPT backup time. character. Time to get ChatGPT in on this shit. Nope, nope, <laughs> no, we don't, we don't, do, don't do AI. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. fuck AI. Nope, um, don't do that. Nope. Lagersha Frock turns to you. And as she does, the, 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 the light pink hair bobs slightly and you see the, the green sort of tasseling that's holding it meticulously in place. She stares at you, Vina, and begins to casually walk without speaking a response. She, she begins to walk down, standing at the opposite end of the couch, watching past you. And she looks at you. And without even acknowledging you, she turns. And she begins brushing the belly hair of Sandal <laughs> Declan's exposed belly. Go if you would fluffs the belly cleavage of this man. Oh, I am I'm gonna go take a shot of garlic. <laughs> what does this become a fucking war all of a sudden? Like <laughs> I, I, I guess this is a war of attrition. Okay. You, could, you, you know, you could poison her instead. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> okay. Uh what are my skills here? Just do a backflip. If you need, if you need the tap, <laughs> so, if you need to tap someone in, just call for. <laughs> no, no. Shut, 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 I've shut. got this. I've got this. Oh no, we're we're. Uh, yeah, we're in this now. We're stuck here. <laughs> we're stuck here. All right. Okay, so she she's got she's got her eyes on uh, Mr. Mr. Sandals. Uh, and I am just going to smile at the both of them and just, wow. The three prettiest people at the party all right here together. This is amazing. And I'm going to sit. How much room is there on the couch? Um, so, she, like, Luggy Frock is standing she's not sitting on the couch oh she's standing she's not sitting. yeah 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 she's like she's standing tickle on the couch. okay 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 uh in that case i'm going to smile at the both of them is there like mm -hmm. a uh, uh a tray of like champagne or anything um, there, there are like fancy party. waiters and so forth coming around. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beckon one of the waiters to come, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get three glasses of fancy champagne. Um, I'm going to get one for myself. I'm going mm -hmm. to get one for Lugersha, and I'm going to get one for our good friend Sandal. And I'm going to very subtly just slip the belladonna out of my bag when nobody's looking and tip it into his drink. Okay, I require you oh. to give me a stealth check. I would love to do that for you. Who is that? Froggy just uh, keep, burst. Why is Froggy keep going. here? Keep going. Keep going. Oh boy. All right. Uh, stealth check. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, chat, for the hero quest. Um, I'm going to do my damnedest here. To make something work. Yeah, it's a natural uh, one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why do I even bother? Oh. Why do I even bother? Oh, it's I been a while. A complication. So, a complication occurs. Oh boy. And you so, can't re-roll that. Yeah. So huh. as, as you look for a complication, I'll re-explain for people who probably haven't seen this yet or who maybe knew or whatever or need yeah, more pressure. Please. So basically the world that we did, because chat's able to give us hero points and stuff, like basically doing money and stuff, and Thurston gets mm. villain points a bit too. Uh, to balance that, because we've learned from Warhams, we don't want people just to pay to win us all the time. So, yeah. as a detriment, and also to make the patrons make us suffer, whenever you roll a natural one, you cannot re-roll it. So, 
Uh, mm -hmm. What happens is that people on Patreon, you submit to a pool on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration where you too can mess this up and you submit to a pool and we just basically get it all in this Excel sheet and we just pull from it. Just pull random suggestions. We change things because we're like, hey, don't make it character specific because that doesn't help us at all. So we just pull from stuff that might work out here and uh, funny oh. stuff happens sometimes. So what did you find, Thurston? Okay, so I'm gonna double whammy this. I'm gonna double oh, whammy this. Thank you, Thurston. You're welcome. You're welcome. <sighs> so, I would like to thank Drunken Finn for this amazing, amazing complication entitled Bitch Slap 2.0. Um, as you're offering these drinks, two things happen, much like the 2.0. One, Vina, you find yourself slapped in the face by Lagertia, but also you find that your intended recipient of the poison was not the one to take the glass you intended. Instead, Lagertia takes the poisoned drinks, quaffs it back, slaps you across the face, and then what does Lagertia say to Vina? Please, Frog, give it to me. You're such a bitch. Oh my god. Who do you think you are calling me beautiful? You don't know beauty. You can't recognize beauty. And she splays herself over the big slappable fat man, and she's like, I wrote a haiku for you. And she traces a little circle around his belly button, and she's like, belly like a beach ball, chasing after ice cream truck, rolling, not a stroll. <laughs> and There's... then she promptly vomits and dies. <laughs> No, we got 10 minutes before that happens, Froggy. Yeah, you got oh, 10 shit. minutes before that disease kicks. <laughs> uh, strap in, welcome. I'm sorry, the the comedic timing. <laughs> I wrote a haiku for you. Yeah. Someone has brought in a bird. Oh, no. Uh, it's, that's it's just, been flying around the room. I'm a, I, I'm a collector. That's just the one I've got in my pocket today. That's my little bird I caught. He's in my it's pocket. like a hamster. It's, it's like a wow. Hamster. You like birds. That's... Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. I'm going to reach into my uh, belt. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my gun. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cock the safety back. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to press it against Lagersha's head. <laughs> wow, this escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, All right, I have 69 birds at home. What? <laughs> I have 69 birds at home. Please, oh no. Including I in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> nice. As you um, I'm as press you... the gun against her head, and I'm just going to say, "All right, matey, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. Ah! I'm going to need you to get on your knees, and I'm going to need you to say that you are so very sorry." Oh God! <laughs> she does. She gets down on her hands and knees, sniveling, and she's got birds in her pockets, and she's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh birds no! In her oh pockets. my God!" Oh my birds! Oh my birds! Give me the bird. I'm what? taking the bird. No! I'm taking the bird. The cat no! folk walks in and interjects as the pistol <laughs> comes out, like hand up. She doesn't say anything, but this like cheetah arm, the the cat folk who has been the sort of like quiet bodyguard for Sandal, like like gently pushes the gun back. I'm so sorry, friend. You know that your good friend Sandal isn't in any danger here. And I'm going she to like, put the she like back looks on. at you and like looks at the holster and looks back to you and is like, you know, not speaking, but is like, put the fucking gun away. This is a party. All right. Are you very sorry, ma'am? And as yes. this happens, as you go to turn and say that and you, you get it out, whoa, ladies, there's enough sandal Declan to go around. He has his <laughs> belly. <laughs> Please don't take my birds. I'm ever so sorry. It's just that my having my, my birds is the only way to cover for the screaming that's coming through my microphone. <laughs> Please prefer, pre please preserve the immersion, please. Thank you. <laughs> All right. For the sake of immersion, you can have your bird back. 
Oh, but I'm watching you. you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Your lips are actually quite plump now that I get a better look. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, dear. You actually have very nice complexion. Oh, thank you. I'm what? so blue. Such a sweetheart. So, Mr. Declan, with this little aside now finished, I think that, um, I think I really need to get some air if you'd like to come join me. Oh, can we like talk here? Kind of sprawled out. It's nice. I did a lot of walking to go talk hey, to you earlier. You just tell there's a chair outside. Aren't there so many chairs outside? Your manor is so beautiful. You have so many wonderful chairs that I'm sure are just begging to be sat in. Oh, uh, this isn't my place. I just rented it. <laughs> well, all the more reason to grace these chairs with your presence. That's Whoa. so hot. What if you spread your lumps around on more chairs? That would be so hot of you. Thank you, Lagersha. You are such an ally. <laughs> okay. I, and, and I think it's, it's best when you give your legs a little stretch before we keep talking and hanging out. And she, she twiddles her little finger on his belly button and his belly hair. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna shoot her away. a look. Just like, girl. <laughs> I, I would have also accepted shoot her. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna cut back to the bar momentarily. Are we? <laughs> Can we yeah, recover we... from this? I oh, can't. We... <laughs> Why not? Oh, I'm yeah. in pain. <laughs> all right. I think I like all of you. Are we drunk That's... at this point? Enough of the <laughs> sapphic romance. It's boys night. <laughs> uh, no, the first shot has been laid in front of you. We're going to role play okay. all of this lads. Okay. Strap in for the more hell palm experience. You know, gentlemen, I don't think anything could ruin this night. Unless, of course, someone brought their fucking bird in. That would really piss me off. The bird or, enters in no, through the door. Okay. Or it looks at Tannhauser, fucking offended. <laughs> as a strict. He looks at his bird wings yeah, and his bird, bird legs. <laughs> and he looks at him and he goes, and he's like, bro. I, I uh, think I think you can't cool, backpedal. Are not cool. Yeah, You're you right. can't backpedal out of that one. You, you screwed yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's that's on you. That cool. shows me what I get for trying to yes and the bit. I see. I see. I, you, it's been yes. long established that Tannhauser is the most racist of the party. Yeah, you yes and so hard, you Tannhauser became racist. <laughs> 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 Again, I, I reiterate, Thurston, are you sure we can recover from this? Absolutely, we can. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm palms in the house and it's like, Baldrick, you got some, you got some fine friends here. Uh, yeah, of a sort. No, not of a sort. You're brothers, and I can see that. And he has this like serious moment as he like looks down the bar towards Orin, then to Tannhauser, then over to Baldrick and Rahua, sort of nods. I've seen this camaraderie before. It's important. It means something. Do you know what it means, Baldrick? He stares you in the eyes and the soul into the depths of your being. Yeah, why don't you tell me? It means we're gonna do two triples back to back. Another, please. And the bartender's just like, oh my fucking god, and she begins like pouring more drinks. All right, this is the Brotherhood. My name's Morhal Palm. You don't forget that from the Farmers Guild. I started off in the Inheritor lands far away, but I came here. I made something of myself, and you, you all look like you're gonna make something of yourselves. Well, some of you already have. You're from the Inheritor Lands, are you? That's right. Which part? Do you really want to know? I'm curious. All right. Well. <laughs> and he, like, has this, this pause. And this is the point probably where, like, um... 
Oh, this is this is like the point where very clearly there would be like a, a, a an option that would pop up of like join our Patreon uh, and find out more about more help palm in the out, outset guilds. And I'm just saying that because I need to actually pull up the exact notes because he is an NPC listed in our outset guilds guide we released. Um, and he stares into you. And your eyes, Tannhauser, and says, Oh, yes. Far East Inheritor Lens. Started off there uh, dealing with all sorts of uh, furs and leathers between the city states. Hmm. Ever made your way out as far as the Golgothan Dominion? Fuck that place. He drinks a shot immediately. <laughs> I'll also drink a shot. Uh, and like, as as Tannhauser, you and Morhel bond over the hatred of your estranged homeland. Morhel like looks over to Baldrick Rahu and then Oren and like kind of like shakes their empty shot glass. Oh, fuck the Golgothans, right? <clears throat> Baldrick's gonna drink. Good. Do, do we, do we don't have to make drink alcohol tests for this, do we? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> only because I get canceled. Someone say something. Well then. Um looking at the rounds of drinks we've been doing, at, at which point in the ETA do we see the gun come out and the commotion? You know, after the first shot is had, the gun comes out. And like, I, does Tannhauser like get up to intervene? I have a feeling that violence is in the air. Would you give me a moment? Uh, Morhel Palm puts his stout, but also like very long. Like he's almost like a human-sized dwarf. His hand goes across to your chest. No, 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 no. You have to let them handle it themselves. Why? Be because they're strong, independent women and they don't need us. Another round, please. <laughs> you know, you're the most progressive oligarch I think I've ever met. Why the Farmer's Guild here is so damn successful. Drinks! <laughs> This All right, guy let's cut drinks like 50 fucking times. I imagine oh, there's yeah. a mountain of glasses. <laughs> oh yeah, at this point it's getting it's getting ridiculous. All right, let's cut back to the shit show. Wait. Hold up. Hulky, yeah. you just put an image. Are you watching Twitch on fucking light mode? What? Yeah. So am I. You monster. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah. Uh, my eyes aren't as. I have astigmatism. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I, I do too. It helps me differently. Damn. The, 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 the shade. Fine, I'll turn on dark oh, mode. Fine. Turn the fuck on, you fucking monster. Play the I audio. Zoran. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm being castigated on Twitch. Holy fuck. I, I oh gotta god. be here for another 40 minutes. <laughs> At least. <laughs> At least. What is, what is that beautiful blue drink you have, Hulky? Yeah, uh, that's, that's a hey, sour patch cocktail. Are, are, but are you okay with me showing, oh my God. showing the video, please. folks? Are you please, okay with that? we're so yeah, far you can, you can the show rails them. at this point. Please this, show it. Look at this fucking monster. Speaker, can you tell Noel to go and bring me my Jack and Coke? Oh, yeah, I, I can. I think I left it at y'all's place. Yeah, you, you totally did. Yeah, give me I'm a about to go prepare a, a, a drink. Get on it. We're going to go to the we're going to go back to the ladies for a bit. So you're oh fine. Oh my god. Is it okay if we drink on stream? Is are we going to get like car bombed? Well, now that you said that? it, now that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Way to you go. are you are drinking tasty adult beverages called yeah. Dr Pepper. You know, they're very Dr. adult. Dr. Pebner. Okay, oh, that's what yes. you're drinking. Tasty <laughs> adult never, beverages. I would never drink anything that had anything inside of it. Exactly. At all. I would never drink anything. Ever. Yeah. Ever. I am yeah. drinking Jones soda. I love Jones soda, my favorite carbonated beverage and premium glass bottle soda they found don't pay in your us local enough. grocer. <laughs> we have been sponsored, you see. No, okay. Let's jump Only back to this. Only drink sponsor we have is Grind and Co. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Anyways. All right. We're back. So, um, Ligertia. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Ligersh. Tell me. How... What you're doing right Just tell me what you're doing right now. Oh, yeah. So, Ligertia, she's, you know, she's hanging off of his arm. There's a bird in her pocket screaming, doing all that stuff in the background. And she's like, oh, don't go stretch those legs. Pop some buttons. Yeah, go stretch your legs and spread yourself on the other furniture. Oh, my goodness. And we can hang out later. Give the lady what she wants. She goes away. You can go hang out late and go give her what she wants. She goes away. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I will. I Okay. First of all, out. Sandal Declan immediately takes your advice and undoes a button and has like a an audible sigh of relief. Like, ugh. Um, also, I just want to relay this comment from chat that just reads, I have to give it to Thurston for making social encounters even more painful than boss encounters. Hold on. There is a knock at my door. <laughs> Oh, there's that's, your drink. That's, that's Noel. I know Um sure, I, a narrative declaration. I, we always have room service for our cast members. I am true. I'm I so gotta happy. Sit on the floor. It's it's gonna be so great. I'm gonna look at like the analytics and see it fucking tank. Waiter, more the, awkward social interactions, please. You know, then, someday, someday we're all gonna die. Actually I'm just thinking about that for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna be no, balling no, out when I, I do. This is chat. It's floor. up to you to evangelize <laughs> this episode as the best episode we will ever have. <laughs> Rock I trust really went you down here after the guy to go up to your social belly. media and be like, "Y'all haven't seen art until you've seen episode, you know, four of season three of Rock Grind because that is yeah. art." Guys, I think the swamp just fucking rotted our brains. We're <laughs> yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. For the love of Crodatimus, let's get on task. Lagusha so true. Is, is trying to help Vina out. She's trying to get Buddy Boy here to get up and, and stretch his legs and start walking around to whether that's to limber up for activities later or or like, it's a strange <laughs> unity uh. of it's a unity between women right now. Whatever the case, she does seem to be trying to help you. Oh, thank God. The women are looking out for each other. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna give Sandal a smile and just, come on, don't you wanna come with me? Uh, where? <laughs> don't you wanna go get some air? Oh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, come on. All right. I'm going to lean in close to Lagersha. He, like, liquefies off the bed and <laughs> is momentarily on all fours before he gets up, placing one hand on the right, slight stage ahead of him and pulling him. himself up. And he does this, like, he does it like he's trying to be smooth, like, oh, I'm just arching my back. like, And he does the whole, like, oh. Is this um, Mr. Creosote? What the fuck are we doing? I want to make I, it worse. I am is the couch leather? Oh, yes. So what do you hear? Yes. This, <laughs> like this peel. I was like, this is <laughs> decouples from the couch. There's like a, a slick. There's just this slick stain on the couch. Oh too. my god. Oh my god. Uh, Okay. Look, everyone, I understand if you just leave the show at this point. I'll I'll understand. <laughs> I'm, go I'm gonna super I'm gonna, into it. I'm, oh, I'm gonna lean into Lagersha. Girl, go to the bathroom and throw up. You just drink fucking Belladonna, you fucking moron. What? 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 Go throw up, you idiot. Even her bird is shocked. Her bird is suddenly quiet. The bird that was screaming in her pocket, <laughs> and she she turns and she goes sprinting. She grabs her skirts up and she takes off. And you can see her already fingering the uvula at the back of her throat as she's running to the bathroom. Oh my gosh! Bye, girly! I'll see you later! <laughs> she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Up to natural 20. 20. Rolled on behalf of Lagertia. Um, 
Ligertia will ignore that Belladonna. Thank you very much. Oh my god, she's been microdosing Belladonna you know this what? whole you time. Know you know what's really funny, Thurston? Mm -hmm. She literally would have had to roll that because it's a DC 19. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's so. She has funny. a lot of practice feeding her birds at home. I've so she's really all right. that's awful. She's all right, good. back to the floor I go. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> She's she literally did the princess bride bit where it's just like I've been building up her resistance to Belladonna for my whole life. People have been trying to poison me for being repugnant for years. You know, I've been saying for a long time that the Rock Grind crew needs the six character Lagertia. Don't welcome. Bring do not bring this NPC back ever again. Oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be calling her constantly. Lagertia's about to come live in the people's house. She's our new bestie. <sighs> He's the people's concubine. Con conspirator Ooh. acquired. Russia <laughs> frock. Freak shit. <laughs> Lover of big chungus. Embracer of birds. I, I wish I had a glass. To Can't wait for the now. chapter end boss to be Ligertia. Oh, okay. She's a All right, baby. let's. We got hey. 30 minutes left. <laughs> wow! We got plenty more time to drink. God knows I do. I can't. It's so true. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to Sandal manages to pull himself up the like two foot thing on the stage, doing kind of like a half hearted like uh, I'm just sort of turning myself over to sit and pull myself up, but really I was about to fall. And then he stands up on the stage and is like pauses momentarily breathes and then reaches out a hand and looks at you and says, uh, my lady. What a gentleman. I'm gonna take the hand. Don't you want to go somewhere a bit more private? Uh, the balcony over there. Gotcha. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh. And that's when and immediately as you walk out onto the balcony, Vina, uh, you notice that the gnome punkle comp stops as soon as he sees Sandal walk out here. Yeah, um, 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 I did some stuff, and then he sits down. <laughs> uh, do you do you like the air here? It's great. Do you want to uh, go stand by the fountain? And he points south to like this bubbling fountain that's on the balcony here. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, it's a fountain. That's lovely. You want to get out of here? What? We just got here. <laughs> I hate you. God, <laughs> Do I need to spell it out for you? Well, letters weren't my forty. Oh boy, why don't we go somewhere alone, you and I? Would you like that? And as you say that, something cuts through the air. Oh, Sandal, my good friend, would you to come? Bring your new companion and look at this fine view. Jesus fucking Christ. As the hegemon speaks. Of course he talks like that. And Sandal has like, Vina, give me a perception check actually. Yep. I roll a nat one and fall into the fountain. I can't wait. It's so good. Oh, close. Never mind. Oh. What did you roll? 19 and one 19. are so close. <laughs> Or total love. Total. 31. Yeah. Um, Vina, you immediately tell that when, like, this man speaks, this, the hegemon, um, Sandal, like, has this moment of, like, oh, shit, sobriety. His eyes become, like, more alert. And he, like, grabs you by your hand and is like, oh, uh, we should, we should go over there. Yeah, come on. Sure. I'd, I'd love to go talk to the hegemon. <clears throat> oh. And as you, like, approach the side of the balcony, like, a lot of the people here begin to, like, just take 
distinct note and start to, how shall I put it? Fuck off immediately <laughs> out of this room. And they begin like rushing out in towards the open area. Uh, even Punkle Compt and his, and his like little current coterie go into the room. In fact, Punkle Compt as he leaves, like closes the door behind him. Um, there's just this like sudden, like, oh shit, stuff's happening and people just depart. Um, and then the, the doors are all sort of closed here. And the hegemon, this red-haired, imperious individual, turns to look at you, Vina. And Vina, you can see at this point that actually uh, one other person departs. Madam Brokemeyer quickly escapes. Um, Vina, you can tell that as the hegemon is looking at you, Sandal has like turned over the balcony and is just looking away. Um, and seems to like be distancing himself from everything. Oh, it's such a pleasure to see you again. Vali, was it? Yeah, so glad you recognize me. What do you think of the view here? And he takes a step back and sort of ushers you towards like the edge of the balcony. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty high up. Yes, I like high vantage points. And then you have like this brief flashback to the hegemon on top of the chainsaw car. Can I ask to what I owe this pleasure, sir? I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to talk to all of your friends, but they all seem so scared. <sighs> no, not scared. Just eager to get drunk. Which I very much am in this moment. Sandal, could you go get me a fucking glass of He something? vomits over the side of the balcony. All right, as one does. Been there. Anyway. So, what did you want? I'm sure I can pass along the message to my friends or call them inside. Outside. What are you doing? Enjoying a party, is that illegal? Mm, that's not why you're here. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry? Let's cut through the jib-jab social dueling that would happen. No, I want to know what you're doing here. Is it for that thing? <laughs> uh, as Sandal continues to just um, extricate himself over the edge. Uh, is that why you're here? Is... Some people are apparently into that. <laughs> he rolls his eyes. Oh, please. I... I try to be a good person. Do you? Yes, I do. I pride myself on it, in fact. Really? Yes, and I would hope that whatever you're doing here is not causing... Well, more problems in this city. Of course not. You know, one of the uh, driving philosophies of my people is to uh, really just help the common man. And Outset has a lot of common people that need help. That need helping. So that's what we're here for. Really sorry if you think we have some kind of untoward intention here. We're nothing if not servants of this city, as I'm sure you are. There's like the slightest smile from the hegemon at that, and then a, a look at you and a look at Sandal like vomiting over the side. Do you want his airship? Is that it? His airship? Yes. I know that's what you 
materially possess. You you want airships. It's your thing. I wouldn't say no to an airship, but no, that's not why I'm here. Then Besides, what? if I wanted his airship, then I would have approached this very differently. What? I have an airship. I wouldn't even bothered with this fucking party. I would have stolen it. Ah, I see. Uh, so someone sent you here? No. I'm here me. on... Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, oh god, would lie to me apply here? Let's see. Uh, well, he's not. Is he trying to deceive me? I guess I wouldn't know that yet. Um, he's an analyzing your deception, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, another 19 plus 16, that is a 35 for you, Thurston. Cool. Um, there is, like, a stare into you. All right, then. I apologize for the problems below. It seems you've recuperated from that. Though, to be fair, it was only your winged friend that was the real recipient, even indirectly, of what I did. Uh, your situation was entirely due to some prior association with a man, an elven man. Ah, yes. Well, Dushelf is in ashes in a swamp... So. Good, good, good. Oh, and uh, I don't want to keep any hard feelings between us and your winged friend, so please take this. He hands you a small pouch. I'm going to peek cautiously into it. Full of gold. Oh. Interesting. So Give that you... to your winged friend. Tell him we're even. I don't think so. He stops between the two, like, stone tables as he begins walking away. There is an audible sigh uh, that is only broken by the... <laughs> from Sandal Deckland. Thank you, Sandal. You know how to create an ambiance. He sure does. I don't want your fucking money. You killed my friend. You're going to have to do a hell of a lot more to make up for it. He turns around, stares at you momentarily, and then begins to speak in a very clipped tone. Tell me, what have you done? You have created an insurrection in this city. You have caused numerous deaths, both to the Tyrant's Guild and the local population. Your attempts at whatever your allies consider to be revolution are nothing more than a base misunderstanding of the city's governance and the s abilities and various shrugs slightly the various opportunities available to the city and yet you indicate that you are some sort of champions for justice I don't believe so I believe you and your allies are a threat if anything it's my understanding that you came into this place and looked for various opportunities to kill people myself included perhaps at some point you should look into a mirror and decide if you are being the just people or otherwise good day Miss Vina he begins to walk away hmm uh, hi there baby I'm Mr. Hedgemon as he opens the twin double doors and Ponkel Comp is there, like, clearly having listening, listened in, and the Hedgemon just sort of waves, no, not today, and Ponkel Comp, like, quickly closes the doors behind. Uh-huh. Can you hold my hair? One condition. Oh, God. Please. You tell me. You tell me what the fuck the Medics Guild is doing. You, I know that you know. You're going to tell me. As you say that, the, the cat folk advances towards you. Not another step. He's not going to be hurt. I just have a couple of things that I need to know, and then I'll hold his hair. Why don't you go inside and get a drink, my feline friend? She takes another step, challenging you. 
So I, I just would like to say, yes, speaker. from the moment it became apparent that Vali was going to go outside onto the balcony and people were filtering out, I think it would beggar belief to imagine that we would not be on our way, especially if then the cat man bodyguard. Were and Hauser, give me a give me a fortitude save. Sure. Yeah, about to uh, say you want you you want us to all do that because we're probably mm-hmm. not going to be sitting around. Bro. Yeah, this uh, alcohol would be considered a diseases, poisons, radiation, etc. Yeah, poison. Yeah. That oh, breastplate tough. adds plus. Oh, 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 natural oh, one, of course. Oh. So hey, for for first, rolls, uh, mm-hmm. it's okay. Mm-hmm. So, sorry, sorry, Aaron. Mm-hmm. One second. Let me let, for podcast and then do your thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Orin got a twenty-eight. Uh, Rahu got a thirty-four. Uh, ten hours got a natural one. Now, now for you. I'm sorry for podcast people. Yeah. So for some reason, my fortitude saving throw is factoring in my breastplate to this. I take it that's a no, right? One heck Why? That shouldn't. When you when if the window shows up, does it say like armor penalty or something? That's no. Grayed out? I literally just um, have one sec. One sec. Does your does your breastplate have resilience on it now? Oh fuck! I have. To oh, it might. Ding ding. That would be yep. why. Because if you have a resilient breastplate that adds to all of your saves, bam. uh, it just says it's yep. magical. I don't know if it has that or not. One sec. If it's magical, I will check. Yeah, do the it roll. It is it's a bad. plus one resilient. Yeah, that's why. Okay, cool. Yep. Fine. Yep. It's all right. That's all right. 29. Yeah, twenty nine. So Oren, Briss, Redwood, and Baldric, you are all enjoying the camaraderie here you're you're having a good time now speaker d tanhauser mm-hmm. oh god i love it i get to use one of these uber specific ones oh this is always good you don't encourage it we Keep don't snapping. encourage it stop doing it no, you're encouraging it right now, Thurston, by putting on that breathy tone. I know, but <laughs> literally this this one was called a certified Tannhauser moment. Oh, um, no. So how could I not? But don't do it seriously. We ignore these 99% of the time. Um, give me a d20 plus your intelligence modifier. Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. What is my int? That's right. That's an eight. Okay. You believe that the best course of action at this point in a certified Tannhauser moment is to keep drinking. Clearly, you're making inroads with this individual. So you are hushing Wait, down what, what any other discussion. Individual? What? What? Individual? More hell palm. You're going to keep drinking with more hell palm. You're oh, thinking right. that you're making inroads with this, this NPC, and you're just going to keep drinking with him. So please give a boisterous speech on why the dwarven head of the farmers guild is your new best friend. I I don't know. That that feels very out of character. Is there anything okay. to, like spending a a it, hero point on rerolling that or ignoring the condition? Is there uh, I would I I don't think that's a good complication because it's forcing speaker to do something he doesn't want to do. Okay. Is there something we can change it that encourages him to do some role play that he wants to do? I mean, yes, but I'm not going to let you like quickly shift away from this. You've you've failed a save rather significantly, right? Yeah. So I mean, you know, you, you we can get the negative outcome for this. I just mm-hmm. that yeah, particular... if, you, if you have a different negative outcome, feel free. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just be drunk then. Can you give me like a poison condition or what have you? Oh uh, yeah, you you basically like have the equivalent of like a sickened condition. Sure. Um, as you're kind of just like overtaken by some of the, the 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 intoxicants that are in your system. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, what? Where are we doing? Because we would have started making these moves earlier. So, like, where in the process are we? Um, At this point, it's just been like drinks being ordered, and more hell is kind of this this like, you know, very um personable like oh tell me about yourself what's with the the thing on the face and like points to your mask apparatus 
Well, you see, my friend, I obtained this faceplate after being ripped apart by the machines of war in the deserts of the Dominion. And if you will excuse me, I believe it actually behooves all of us gentlemen to immediately begin applying such bloody lessons in preparation for whatever is occurring on that balcony. If you'll excuse me. And uh, I will start moving. I presume others will as well. E yeah, Baldrick's going to take the n the door to the north. Okay. Over here. Sure thing. And I will enter forward this way. I will wait for this tyrant's guard to try and stop me. Yeah, you tell us where we stop, Thurston. You keep moving. Okay, sure. Oren basically just takes all the shock glass and goes, <laughs> and, um, and he goes like, hey, thanks for all these drinks. I need to go get some fresh oh, air. Oh, yeah, though. no problem. He's like, well, I'll be back for I'll be back for more, and he'll tap him on the back and then fall along with Baldry. Okay. Yeah, so as you walk out onto the balcony, um, and like each of you sort of take a different approach to it. Um, you can see that, you know, Vina is there alone with Sandal Deckland, but also the like the the, the the cat folk who's been guarding him. And Sandal's just kind of like, um, but you come out to this exactly where we left off on Vina's side. I was muted. I'm just gonna. <laughs> that would do it. I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna turn to the cat folk. Just, can you give me just a second, my friend? I just really need to have this conversation with Mr. Declan. So please, why don't you tell me what you know? And then I'll hold your hair and we'll walk back inside together, okay? Okay. Right. Baldrick's gonna open the door and he's gonna have an, he's gonna quickly put together an alchemist fire moderate and is going to gesture to the guard. Hey, why don't you stay where you are? And I'm gonna, I guess I'll intimidate the guard. Eric, give me an intimidation check. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I'm not Victrix. Oh, no. Uh, ah! can, I, can I possibly uh, assist with this? I have a decent intimidation. If you want to take the action, too. Ugh. Um, I, I should probably save it for persuasion, I suppose. Yeah, 13 yeah, not going to get me much. Yeah, nuts. no, not against this individual. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let the rest of my friends kind of congregate in. Sure. You know, even if Rahua's just going to sit there, I guess. Rahua's going to ask, uh, ask our gentleman here. So I... I hate to kind of put a damper on things, but do you have like a business card? I really need to learn how to up my cooking skills before I go. I'd, I'd hate to leave empty-handed. You you know how that is. Cooking, that's right. Uh, more than a pie. I got you. <laughs> okay. So first with cooking, it's all about temperature. See what I mean? Temperature. Temperature. Okay. Okay. After that, come to the Farmer's Guild. Ah! I'll show you around. Okay. I didn't learn much, but I'll take you up on that later. And I'll slap him on the back. Ah! You hair like a tree! I know, because I'm mostly made of wood and metal. What? Yeah. What? And he'll walk away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, I need to go this way. Mm. <laughs> like, turns to you, Oren. You got some good friends, kid. Is he talking to himself? Because I left. <laughs> uh, for some reason, your token's still standing beside him on my screen. So. Yeah. Not on mine. <laughs> it, yeah, uh, it's just uh, you, Thurston. I think you're just hallucinating him. <laughs> Watch out for the goons, lad, right? <laughs> okay. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. He's um, seeing double. Boy. He's hallucinating. <laughs> There's like a standee there, like a cutout board of Orin. Just saying, yeah, you exactly. got it. There's a log wearing a hood. <laughs> he, he 
get a fucking like shadow clone some shit from Naruto? Yeah, substitution. <laughs> Standall recovers himself and looks at you, Vina. Uh, medic skilled? My, my grandpa did some stuff with the medic skilled. That's good. So why don't you tell me what they were doing in the solitude? The whatitude? Where can I talk to your grandpa? Uh, <laughs> he's dying? <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we, we were told to just look for stuff having to do with the Medic Guild, correct? That was our goal? I'm not, I'm not off my shit You were told here, to figure out how Sandal might be involved in schemes that could affect the city. Mm. The Medic Guild stuff is from your own personal knowledge. Okay. So your grandpa works for the Medic Guild. Okay. Is there any way I could speak to him, or is he uh, completely kaput? Um, as you do that, you feel a hand on your shoulder coming from the cat folk. <sighs> All right. Do you work for this guy? You hear a voice, but it's not spoken aloud. It's in your mind. That will be enough. You can go now. Not until I learn what I'm here to learn. What do you know about this guy, huh? Are you turning you know to her? You're yes. Do you know who you're working for? Several individuals appear out of thin air. Oh. Finally, it's an even fight. <laughs> the cat folk continues to keep their hand on your shoulder. You can go now. No blood needs to be spilled today. Who do you work for? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I work for this man, and you will go now. <sighs> I think you work for something else. Listen, blood doesn't have to be spilled. You're right. You tell me what I'm asking, and we will go on our way. I could use the medic skilled right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to give the cat folk a look like, really? You're working for him. At this looks... point, this is more of an impugnment on you, like just your standards and employer. You should have higher standards for yourself. He just looks at you. I would prefer not to have combat today. I wouldn't if I were you either. You would die. Not your usual. You can't hear. She is telepathically communicating oh, okay, to Vina. My apologies. I thought that she was. Uh, I thought she was like a mind flayer, like open channel telepathy. No. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna get a look at the uh, the uniforms of the people around here. Just kind of looking around, assessing the situation. Um, just kind of... Society, please. Society. Oh, and oh. I will mm. say, one of my feats is a criminal connection. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if that will affect my DC at all. Uh, so society. Uh, my society's terrible. Could I give you Lore Underworld, perhaps? I'll, I'll allow that, sure. Yeah, because I imagine these people are criminals, and if they aren't, then I'll give you a society. <laughs> Happy For... with that? D no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Want to change that with a hero point? Yeah. Go on. No! Oh my god, it's cocked on my screen. It looks like an 18. Oh! But it's a 2. Oh. You have no idea who these individuals are. Okay. All right, so no no familiarity, no like are are even if I don't know what the like uniforms look like, are they wearing like a distinct uniform or anything like that? You have enough to know that they are like they are garbed 
um, in like very combat fitting attire. So they all have sort of distinct clothing that you can't quite. Um, well, you could give me a society check for that. Um, but like several of them are currently wielding like double bladed sort of curved daggers. Others are in a like martial arts stance, like they're getting ready to kick and or punch at a moment's notice. Oh, we got we got fucking Kung Fu in here. Uh, yes. I, I can give you a, a society for um, for the the clothes. That's not good either. They Never are. Mind. A 17 is enough for you to tell that, like, this has, like, hallmark traits of, like, Quan Shear. Okay. Okay. So, like, from the, the continent to the west. Okay, very interesting. I'm going to turn to Sandal. Where'd you hire these people? Uh, book. Book. Like, did you just find them in the phone book? You guys are in the phone book? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the the, the, the the cat folk. You guys are just in the phone book? Or pops up. He we looks have at you. You can go now. She starts like walking around you and sort of like puts her arm under sandal. Ah, thank you. I, I want you to know, Thurston, real quick. If anyone mm -hmm. other than the cat folk makes any move at this point, Baldrick is going to throw something at them. Yeah, I'm also absolutely light them all up. The cat folk is very like methodically leading Sandal out of here. Oh, hmm. I'm going to stand in his way. Oh, OK. Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't think we've been properly introduced. Cat folk looks at you. Doesn't I'm say afraid. anything. I'm afraid this is a matter that can't be solved by simply walking out of here. If you take another step, I'll have you flayed. Now would be an excellent time for us to speak, or failing that, for you all to die. That, that would I, be a good intimidate. That would be a really good intimidate. Give me an intimidate check, please. Absolutely. And please, for the love of God. Please, dice. God. All right. Oh, it, last last dice. Please. Rock nanite surge. Let's go. Uh, I will hero point that because there is no way on earth that is enough. Mm -hmm. uh, continue on, my nanite surge. Yes. There we no. go. Thirty. There we go. Eighteen. Um, she somewhat recoils a bit from you, like taken aback. Um, like it's not enough to get her to like hand over her master though. Um, and she seems more like this has stalled her slightly. Are you familiar with the gate, the great cataclysm of the black wind? There is no response. It was an event in the Dominion's history. Explosive archaeotech taken from the Zeskoran Empire. It was said that an entire span of a town was vaporized in an instant. Isn't that interesting? And wouldn't it be dreadful if such a thing were to be employed here in your midst? Perhaps if my heart were to stop on the off chance you achieved victory. No, my friend, you have no choice but diplomacy or battle. Um, and I'd like to make another intimidate. All right. Uh, if you prefer, I could use Lore Warfare or Zaskorin. Um... You can give me another intimidate if you want. I'll give it to you. Uh, I might. Not oh, never mind. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's just what we need. Yeah, she she stares at you. She is like suitably just like, holy fuck, this guy is is something. And what she does in response is she like pulls her master back. A wise choice. Now diplomacy. Or the alternative. I can't be the only one speaking here when you have information I need, and I'm willing to strip you of everything you have for it. 
The cat folk opens her mouth, and you notice she has no tongue. Um. I see. Uh. Uh. And Sandal well. decides to uh, unleash uh. another torrent of his um, insides. How uh. much crap does this dude have in his system? Uh, Most of it's just man. like... <laughs> Thank you, Alki. It's a fat man's <laughs> world. Defense <laughs> guy... <laughs> Within. Ah, hello, everybody! Oh, as Punkle no Comp comes through. Hey, we're a little busy, friend. We'll come talk to you later, okay? Bye bye. <laughs> Rahua. Rahua will Rahua. follow in behind Punkle Comp and very firmly claw into his shoulder. I thought you were oh, just about to pick no, him I up know. and just toss him back. <laughs> Oh no, our friend oh. has listened to so much of this conversation, and he will very coldly pivot his head downwards towards Punklecomp. I think it's in our best interest if he sees it through. I'm I'm a skilled medic. I can help him. Oh, we. I'm know. with the medic skilled. Are Her you will now? Dig his his talent into oh, his shoulder. that really hurts. The old lady comes up to Orin and Baldrick. Uh, Baldrick's gonna turn towards her. Like, he's still got his eyes on the, uh, the backup that has mysteriously appeared. Arm raised with Alchemist fire in hand, but he is going to turn slightly so she can see a single eye pointed at her through the slit. Are you going to cause an issue here? We have no intention of it, but we would like some information. <sighs> Can I save you some time and some unwanted bloodshed? What is it you need to know? Uh, I presume that everyone else can hear this as well, or is she just... No, she's away? being very quiet to you and Oren. We're trying to figure out exactly what this... Uh individual as he's pointing towards sandal declan we need to figure out what his plans are with regards to the uh oh it was the governance right yeah how he's in like how he's influencing current events in the assembly and like just the city at large we're trying to figure out how he's influencing the assembly at the moment as well as whatever else he might be planning uh the old sort of crone lady leans in a bit. Sandal Declan is a useless nobody. He has more money than brains. It's how he can hire the Gildul. All right. So then kindly explain how that doesn't affect the assembly or anything else. Plenty of, plenty of brainless he's, people sit on that couch. He's building an airship. For what purpose? The the old woman stares at Vina back at you. Women. Or in turns to Baldrick. I think we have the wrong guy, Mr. Baldrick. <sighs> He's gonna sigh now, in a guttural manner. Now, if I may. You're all skilled. I know, you've dealt with Deg Sanren House, you killed the Martinet, very good. Those people out there will put you to the test. You don't want to do it here. We have no intention of picking a fight if we can avoid it. We're just trying to get some information and... Buzzball over there is making it kind of... Well, fuck it, fine, do whatever you want! And she turns and walks away from you. Hops off the stage and starts walking. Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay. Damn, <I'm> a... lady. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I can't tell if that was Thurston being fed up with us or no. <laughs> no, that was her. That's very much her. Regardless, he is going to take that on note. Or we go escalating this any further. How about we try and speak to this fellow's granddad then first, huh? Well, 
We've also got a friend with the Medics Guild, so why don't we all sit down and have a chat, huh? I do have it on good authority that you are, at the very least, now confirmed to be connected via this eternal relationship, engaging in experiments regarding the rot. That is the city's interest as well as ours, and I have no doubt that it is similar curiosity with such things that has allowed the Tyrant's Guild to overlook the presence of four terrorist revolutionaries at the gala that are willing to do what they cannot to save public face. Now then, we can have a conversation. You can hand over your charge. Or we can continue this date we've all made with the Butcher's Block. Danhauser. Oh, he wants the numb. What, what, what did you say? You're you slurring. The gnome? Stand up. You want the gnome? The gnome? Is he more than a charlatan? I don't have the gnome. Pong, Pongle, whatever. Go talk to them. Uh, okay, Mr. Declan. Rahua will not let go of Pongle Count. I'm not moving beyond a five foot radius of you. Oh, good. Rahua he's just like to... spinning on his axis. Yeah, yeah just he's... like turning. He just so happens to have switched to the side of Rahua with the even sharper metal hand. Oh. Free time. Uh, I want to go sleep. Gonna... I want to go sleep. B Baldrick's going to flag down Tannhauser. Tannhauser. I don't think this boob is who we want. Well, he's clearly got some important I, connections. I'm willing to believe that this imbecile has no more masterminded his digestive system or the ability to read than he has whatever endeavor we are here to solve. What I'm curious about are these armed gangsters the one with no mouth, I assume they're all equally as silent. Or at the very least, perhaps they're simply dumb. No. She can speak. Huh? I'm oh, gonna would... tap my head. Vault doesn't quite understand what the fuck she means. I imagined uh... our conversation. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. How much money did um ah uh, the hedgeman probably in... didn't give me enough to pay off this oh, well, uh this group? She's moving away now. So. She's starting. She's starting to walk. So yeah, I would I would step in her way before she got far because we haven't finished our conversation that she has. Listened. Okay, so you're stepping in her way. Yeah, of course. Okay. She looks at you. She turns do to I, walk past I, you. Do I have to hit her with another intimidate to get her to speak to me? She. She's not speaking to you. Well, yeah, there's I something. Know that yeah, she can communicate, and none of her compeers seem able to communicate, and she's mm -hmm. not using any kind of. Like, seems to have no intentions of answering my questions. So, do I need to hit her with another intimidate, or like it, someone else could step in? It, it's clear to the point of she's not going to like give up someone she is like incredibly incredibly uh, like linked I, to I, I i understand that but she's also not willing to tell us who she is she's, she's not, not speaking to you correct yeah yeah so would anyone like to come in and help this not be a combat situation i i, I don't know would i would i have to roll intimidate again to get a conversation i i, I will admit thurston this is kind of beggaring a little belief right now this this is literally a case of she can sure communicate mentally maybe once and has used mm. that already. Okay, yeah, that if you want right. the meta gaming reason, there it is. No, you could, but... but you could say like, oh, you would you'd like to make it? A, I don't know, man. Fucking, it's, like that's. I'm sorry. It's just like this is a little hard. Well, let's yes, let's not. It is hard. hard. I, at this fun. point, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna step in with Vina and just. If you need to communicate through me, you're welcome to. 
I will tell Tannhauser what you would like to say to him. She shakes her head like the expiration window has expired on me communicating ah. with you. I see. Hmm. And is this We're a condition a a shared between Excuse all of your compeers? You're all sworn to silence. Like you, it's very even, like like some of them like open their mouths very quickly and like reveal. Yes, they they cannot speak. Oh, the love of oh, that's grand and violent. Do you have a business card? Well, I have one. All right. Give I'll me your business it. card. Sandal Declan provides a card. All right, Thank you. I'll... Oh, it's a little sticky. Yeah. Put it in my back pocket. <laughs> I think we've accomplished everything we're going to accomplish without murdering them all. Let's speak to Ponsel Comp and hope he has something that we need. And should we find that you are all <sighs> holding out on us, we'll meet again. And you'll One see last... kidding about the bomb. One last question, Mr. Declan. Uh, Where's okay. that amazing airship of yours docked? Well, where's it going to be docked? Over uh, the Rooks Blaster. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Uh, okay. Um. I uh, I'd like to to allow this to kind of wrap up. I just would ask since it might as well behoove me. Is there anything I can roll to try to identify a you know a circle of people? They all have no tongues. They seem highly ritualistic. Yeah. What Underworld lore, um, society. Society, I can take society. Because I, I heard what they were, but I didn't have anything to make yeah. on that one. 29. Um, you've heard, like, organizations of Quan Shiri assassins that tend to take this kind of uh, approach. Um, it's very common in that end of the woods. Typically, um, they, like have communication between themselves and their client and that's it okay so um are they usually just bodyguards or do they usually carry around and like oh well you'll usually see Quan shiri hanging out with this mafia or oh they're so see about this or that um you're not like like it kind of varies per organization like this isn't enough for you to get like a sense of the the specific organization here um they're probably like a rare organization that is fairly like hidden um but you'd know like yeah you've heard of like these type of assassins before where they they take on this approach and it's very intentional to prevent them from negotiating or making you know agreements or giving information that they're patron isn't providing i see okay and in this case when their patron is a giant roving dickhole who is super drunk it's really infuriating mm -hmm. uh certainly um what kind of context would i know these assassins to be employed of if i like i mean even if i don't know generally right like everything like would i know at least two instances of them being used um, like, certainly they've been utilized as bodyguards before, typically for high-ranking members of, you know, nations in the Inheritor lands have used them. Um, they're sort of, like, renowned as boogeymen. Um, they're, they're really, what they're notable for is that they can be bodyguards, but then if someone exerts pressure on an individual, they can be used to reach out and touch those individuals. Hmm, I see. Okay. Um... Uh, do we want to see if Sandal Declan's holding out on us, or do we want to let them go? No, I want to let them go. This is, yeah. This this has already turned long yeah. enough, I believe. It's I, time I agree for with us that. To move on. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, I think that he's probably uh, the the red herring. The fat herring. The fat herring. Yeah. True. Yes, um, and with that, like, the group sort of, like, closes around him, and they all sort of, like, we make their way out, uh, leaving you with poor Ponkel Um And, like, as a almost uh, insidious ending to our episode, Infilium Vidir walks up and just closes the door to the to the main entrance, leaving the rest of you to, uh, to have a fine conversation with Ponkel Compt on the balcony.
I, I, I hope that the Anfilium slips their bro Rahua thumbs up through the door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kill everyone. <laughs> um, and I think that is where we will end today's episode. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Chat, everyone, I hope you all had a fantastic time today. Thank you all so much for watching this exciting episode of Rock Grind. Reintroducing all the amazing people who bring you this show, starting out with Oda Roshi. Hi, hello, it's me. I am Odo. I was playing Vina, the Sylph Swashbuckler and ultimate ally to women. Jesus. Uh, also Whammon. bird kidnapper. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you guys have a great night. Next up, yeah. we have Hulky Crow. That's me. I'm Hulky Crow. I played Rahua, the party animal and frat beast Kanrasu cleric. You can find me on my usual socials of Twitter. I'm not calling it its new name. At Hulky Crow, as well as on Discord by the same name. And most other places at, again, that same username. I had a absolute blast playing. I'm so happy we got back to actually doing this. Love your faces. Then there is the ever amazing Arendelle. Howdy, I have been playing as Baldrick Weathers. He's an alchemist. You've seen it, you've experienced it, you've heard the explosions. Next time, maybe, who knows? Uh, you can meet me at Twitter at Arendelio, and that's it. I'll see you next time. And then we have the ever stalwart, Speaker D. Excellent. Hi there, I've been Speaker D. You could find me on Twitter for now. Super Snake Kick. You can watch all of the excellent things that we make with Alphabusa and Ogre Popening on Alphabusa's channel. And you can find the bodies at a latitude and longitude that I will not ah, disturb. Then, and then, then there's Thurston. <laughs> Hello. Hi. My name's Thurston. Um, go check out our Patreon for the Starfinder game that we have. It's really cool. You should go check that out. Also, big thanks to Froggy Lock for coming yeah, in thank and you for doing Augie. that today oh my gosh that was thank a funny froggy. funny thing loggy frog yeah, um, anyways tv forward slash froggy log bam right there yeah. otherwise you can find me on all the things at on call gm i appreciate you i appreciate everybody i'm gonna okay. be out next week but i'll be back in two weeks for our next episode we'll see you then and of course, I have been your host and your Orin Strix Druid for this evening. Thank you all so much, chat. Remember, you can watch us live at twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration. Of course, anything narrative declaration, you'll be able to find us there. So with that, thank you all so very much. Stall for time because my music file disappeared. Do, do, of course. Do, well, if you do, thought do, that Veggie uh, Tales was a do, great do, intro do, series, do, yes. 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 I am so oh happy God. to introduce you I'll, all to the you. world of Bible Man next episode. Hey, okay, but seriously, the second episode of Veggie Tales was called "God Wants Me to Forgive." Oh, thank God I found it. Point question off. Question anyway, I love you all very much. We'll see you all next time. So long, farewell. Bye bye. 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 Bye b